Are you gonna sing? Are you gonna sing the Lufthansa <laughs> national anthem? <laughs> Should be. <laughs> So, um, if you guys remember, I think we left off last session at a goblin party. Y'all were uh, enjoying the fruits of making a deal with um, Gromash. And mm -hmm. oh, right. it went from hostile and threatening in nature, as goblins are, to a joyous, uh, a joyous experience full of food and uh, strange ale that the goblins made up and dancing and drums and singing to the glory of temples. Well, <laughs> the, go the goblin band. And, uh, yeah, that brings us to the start of this session. Where you go. guys have um, uh, woken up after a rather rough night um, in the goblin camp where most of the goblins are still passed out and sleeping. Some of them are up and tossing around. Um, some of the goblins are disposing of bodies of the other goblins that were killed during the night mm -hmm. and, uh, and taking their, their gear. Wait. Were we a part of the goblins being killed during the night? No. Okay. No, it was just like squirrels and stuff like that. Oh, just goblin okay. things. Yeah, goblin stuff. Got it. A little weird, strange goblin baby running around in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, looks like we don't have best for the session uh, at the moment, but uh, we can kind of go from there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me just two moments, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 don't do that. Here, ball. How to do the draconic crap. <laughs> <laughs> draconic no, dolphin snacks. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Great on, buddy. That's so funny. Well, these gobos sure know how to throw a party. Yeah, they do. They, uh, they partied like the uncultured swine they are. I think they trade more teeth than coins here. Oh, I got lots of those. We're so glad. Wait, does anybody know if Erickson's coming today? Is he here? We're unsure as surprise, surprise. 
<clears throat> should should we maybe text him? Would that be a good idea? I think we have. Some... All I know is that Carl isn't going to be here today. Yeah, we can talk about that after. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so waking up in the morning after uh, taking part in goblin festivities and food and drink. Um, the food was quite good, um, so I'll grant you guys based on um, kind of having shelter and having warmth and having food and stuff. I'll give you guys temporary hit points up to uh, four. Four temporary hit points for the day. Wow. Thick. Let's see. Sorry, how many temporary hit points do we get? Four. Four? Oh my four goodness. Heck yeah. Four for four. How four wonderous. For four. And I special full door, full speed, full bang for you. We're so cool, you guys. And everybody gets a long rest on this. Yeah. Yeah, I want it. <laughs> Great. So as you compose yourselves first thing in the morning, um, waking up next to the fires, uh, nobody really takes notice of you guys very much at all. They're kind of doing their own thing and wearing off their trunk super from the night before. Uh, what would you guys like to do? Um, perhaps we just quietly gather our things and uh, head and put these stones to use, yeah? Just go? Yeah. Uh, you do note that the way back um, is littered with goblin traps. And it required, oh. uh, it required a little bit of expertise. You can kind of go it alone and try to remember where they were or where you last stepped. Uh, or you could try and find somebody to take hold of for a, uh, an escort. Mm. Can can I uh, see if I can recall where we stepped? Uh, see how sure I am of where we stepped yes, before yes, getting yes. an escort. Good idea. Good idea. Make a what? Uh, make an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, Twenty-five. Uh, you seem sure, and you well noted where all the traps were uh, for planning and strategy. If you ever have to return to the place, you're pretty sure you you know where they are. I, I think we can make our way through these traps. I'll I'll direct you where to step, and uh, we'll try and go without a goblin escort because they're filth. Very well, dude. And so slipping out from the main goblin cave, you find yourself in a massive, expansive mine uh, with weird busted shoring and caved in rocks that are kind of placed in jagged positions to create a large uh, open space for you to travel. Um, managing your way through the entrance oh, back to the exit. <laughs> Oh, that's all um, right. Let's go. Yeah. Eat your apple. Can you say apple? Apple. <laughs> um, do you so guys, the question is, do you guys want to just beeline it for the exit, or are you interested in looking through the goblin mines at all. Um, um, I think... As you're walking, Go ahead. There's a lot 
goblins that didn't take part in the uh, in the festivities. So there's a lot of strange looks that you're getting as a team of non goblins walking. I just well, offer winks as we pass by them. You're offering um, them what? Winks. I wink at them. Oh, inconspicuous. I see. Yeah, glinting green eyes. Give them a little scout salute. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. However, I don't know if uh, I don't know if we want to scout these caves or if we just want to get to the get to that harp of dissonance. Is that what it is? We have yep. three stones on this now. I'd hate to lose them. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's. I think what I'm thinking. I think we go straight there. We gotta get to that altar. Yeah. To the caverns of the ancient dwarven dead. Um, very well. So as you guys travel through the mine, I'm just gonna request a group check from you guys. Um, see if I can get you placed. Tempest tells me guidance is with the rest of you. Uh, unfortunately, guys. Oh, why? Thank you. I don't think that helps for a group check, though. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> Hate to break. <laughs> Surely, Temple, the Tempest will not <laughs> turn his back on us. Sorry. Sorry, right, that made me, that made me yeah. come out. <laughs> it just slipped out. <laughs> no, that was so good. I had a very late, very rough night last night. <sighs> That's okay, buddy. So I'm, I'm getting my bearings together. Wait, so we oh. do we get guidance or no? No. 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 I thought so. Oh, let's go. Yeah, Eighteen. Wins. Did you click it on the thingamajig? I don't see yeah, it. Yeah, it's my phone. Well, I'm pretty impressed with how good those goblins cooked. I'm feeling wonderful. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so with that, you guys kind of slink by a bunch of the goblins. Some of them notice you, and they kind of give you weird glances. As you kind of get about halfway through, and they see you walking through the traps, uh, you notice that there's a large group of shadows building behind you as the goblins are starting to follow you. Um, as you get to the end of the mine, uh, you don't make any missteps, so it doesn't really trigger a fight or flight for them. Um, and thankfully, you make it out past the uh, stairs and up uh, into the dripping wet caves above in the caves of Orlan. And you navigate your way through the hidden corridor uh, and manage to make your way out just as the goblins, you can hear them scratching behind you, talking amongst themselves and getting closer and closer. Once you get to the caves, of course, they kind of bow down and they start. Mm -hmm. It appeared as though they were looking for any sort of incentive. To oh, it's like they thought we were heroes. Yeah. <laughs> we're famous now. They just wanted to see us off. <laughs> maybe, maybe the goblins do have a modicum of intelligence. It kind of shines. At this moment. As you pause, taking a deep breath, entering the caves of Orland, um, the shiver runs down your guys' spine as the undead presence still seems to be in the sham in the shadows to the west corridor is the slow moving uh, shadows of what appears to be desiccated corpses rising. Uh, a, a not so unnatural sight as you've kind of become adjusted to it here in the caves of Orland. You pursue the, the normal path that you had taken before to get to the altar, where indeed you find uh, the earth stone placed upon it in the corridor where there is a large ornate door. Let me just bring up this area here. <laughs> oh, I remember this space. Yeah, you were checked for traps. <laughs> Yep. 
So, um, I believe you have in your guys' possession four stones. Yes. Well, one is there already, and we have three, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we was one that was already there. We placed one. We have three on. But I, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, after slotting in the remaining stones, you place the last vortex stone on the altar, and a shimmering shift begins to emanate, and a piercing light fires into what appears to be an overburdened, overgrown, rocky, collapsed area, and the rocks blast and disintegrate into dust, revealing a large warning made of fine dwarven craftsmanship and, and runics engraved upon it. I feel good about this. <laughs> Beckoning forward, the aura emanating from the door dissipates, and the door uh, opens from the center. <sighs> Revealing inside of it a large, well, a semi-large room, maybe about 40 by 40, uh, with several staircases leading up to the top point upon the precipice is a large obelisk. Do you guys enter? Uh, do I sense any divine or necrotic energies? Um, the Caves of Warland are kind of overwhelming the senses with chaotic and necrotic energies. Oh. What do you make of this, Velen? Um, <clears throat> I need to turn the volume down real quick. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps resetting to max volume. Hold on, let me cast silence for you. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah. Get some silence going. So, um, what do I think of this? I think that, hmm. I think that I need to see, so I can How far actually away uh, formulate uh, an opinion. You're 10 to 20 feet outside of the... Uh... And it's like a rounded chamber? It's more so, of a square, but it has a bunch of pedestals that lead up to it that are like steps going up, and they're about 10 feet high each day, and there's stairs that go up. So do... All this stands. Do I see any runes, any symbols, uh, anything legible that I might could piece together and try to read? Um, I'm not just going to step in blindly. <laughs> as you peer close, you don't notice any runes on the floor. Uh, okay. There is a hum of magical energy inside of the chamber, which alerts your senses right away. Um, there are, it appears like there's some epitaphs or inscriptions uh, layered around the edges of the room, but too far for you to be able to read. You need better prescription glass. Stick <laughs> <laughs> your spectacles. Oh, uh, you're uh, blind. Does the same. Of this structure look like it's something that we climb, or is it something that we might have to find it? Um, in your best judgment, it appears as though perhaps it is a trove itself. So, and maybe some sort of mechanism unlocks the center point. Hmm. You troll with a mechanism that unlocks I relay the that to the rest of it. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, so what is see, it that you relay? I couldn't I couldn't hear. It could be a trove with a mechanism. It looks like it, there should be a tension to it somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, the obelisk itself appears that it might be some sort of a chest. There are seams that kind of run vertically that look as though maybe it could be opened or some sort of mechanism could release it and uh, possibly have the heart inside. Oh, okay. Oh, what did we here for, or what did we do all this for if not to go in? Uh, I'm going to cast Death Lord on myself and right. walk in. Go oh, just, in. yeah, yes. just you. <laughs> That okay. is fine. That's the consensus. 
So I'm just casting that for it. Okay. <laughs> Tim does lesson? not want to be one of the mofos who dies today. <laughs> Can I please get a quick uh, Martian? Oh, I assume Tim's leading the way. In the <laughs> yeah, you are um, now. Yeah, yeah, I'll uh, I'll bring up the rear. I'll be in the middle. I'll be mid. Sorry, so if it is mid, Tim, you said yep. you're up front, right? Then you're up front? Yeah. I was gonna look at Ivory and say, after you, my lady. And Val, are you back with the bard? Yes. I'm sorry, is, is, is Ivory the my lady now? Yeah. <laughs> I am the lo Wow, lovely. You know what? He deserves it. He is my lady. So as you walk into the room, uh, you are greeted by the giant obelisk in the center, the focal point of the uh, room. On the outskirts of the room, it appears like it's laden with runes and inscriptions. Uh, one thing that catches your eye is that there are five torches uh, with five um, frescoes. Hmm. Um, some of which appear to be almost the same images that you noticed originally. Um, same in in, images that we noticed originally from where? So the Caves of Warland, when you guys are uh, walking frescoes, uh -huh. which all have yeah. a, and a number assigned. Ooh, right, the number. Um, do we still have those? Where are they? Hang on. Day one or day two, and then yeah. trade written down somewhere. Oh no, it's a new computer. Yeah, I had them. I had them on my sticky notes. Hang on, let me see if I can log in, and they're still there. Uh, there appears to be several barrels and crates that appear lootable scattered around the room. And a, uh, as you approach, a glowing begins to emanate from the obelisk, casting shadows which circulate across the floors. Um, ah. You're standing. Okay. I have the numbers. I have my notes. I found them. They were tucked away deep down in the bottom of my bag. Strength. Uh, day honor. one was strength. Day two was valor. Day three was wisdom. Day four was honor. And day five was craftsmanship. Yes. Now we need to figure out how to align them in one, two, three, four, and five. Wonderful, my most astute friend. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And eventually... Okay, I will allow you guys to free move for the moment. Time is taken. Okay. Oh. I... Okay. All I want to do... Because I want to come and uh, see what's on the other side of the obelisk, because it's covered by shadow. I want to go and just look at the obelisk. Can I see if I can translate and find the first day on the fresco? I want to look in a barrel, but I'm afraid that something's going to pop out and kill me. Because <laughs> hey. that is a real... There for a second. Okay, um, I moved just so... before you paused it. Oh yeah, and look at the barrel, that's fine. Um, so as you walk around the back side of the obelisk, uh, you notice there is another fresco. Um, the runic inscriptions begin to kind of glow a little bit more uh, bright as you approach the obelisk until it gets to a finite point where it is quite bright. Um, Tim, as you examine the obelisk, um, I need you to make a religion check. Oh, okay. It's religion time. Do, 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 religion time. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, the song helped. Bravo. It was the Bravo. song. It was the song. I, I claim it was the song. <laughs> Praise be the Lord for his good. She, no. They are great. No, sing my song. Sing my song. Religion song. I worked very hard on it. 
Um, as you yes. kind of talk about the obelisk, you kind of take some notes. Uh, you notice some inscriptions which are pretty prevalent in most religions. Um, the first one that you notice is something about the case of shadows, where light is diminished and shadow takes over. Um, and it brings with it all forms and all manner of dread. Um, it appears as though the obelisk is a standpoint against, in, in, in this sort of um, metaphor, the obelisk stands as a, as a bulwark against the dark forces impeding upon the dwarves. Um, and as you read through the inscription, you notice out of the corner of your eye, shadow is beginning to emerge and the light that the obelisk is casting is diminishing slowly. Mm -hmm. And as the shadows encroach, they don't appear to be um, regular shadows and even your visage cannot pierce it. Just an arm to the mouth. Uh, huh. Fen, as you walk around, indeed you find um, noticeably that each one of these frescoes bears some sort of a strange torch that is emanating above it. Um, and the it appears irregularly ornate, as though it was built in with the fresco. Um, and indeed you find day one um, in the corner. Strength. Yeah. Oh, nice. As Dude, that you read, big. Infinite, I'll let you open up that crate for you. Can you open it from there, or do you have to be right beside uh, it? Possibly. Yes, I can. Okay, there. Can um, I say what? Do you want me to say what's in it? If you want to. There is a single. There's a. There's a. There's four candles in here. Does anybody like candles? Anybody need I candles? Like, I can like light candles. Intricate sconce over here. Let can me, I take... Mr. DM, sir, can I take the candles? Of course, go ahead. Thank you. Uh, I want to take all of them. I will Ooh. allow... Uh, Tim, you have to continue reading, but the rest of you can... Okay. Can I loot the uh, other so bearing too? Yeah. I, I shut out strength for this, and then see if I can find day two. Ooh. Okay. Guys, there's stuff in here. Um, I am going to make sure that we are um, trying to activate the right uh, <laughs> what are they called? Promiscos in the right order. Um, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Can we assist each other in doing that? Um, yeah, you guys can roll investigation to uh, either separate or with advantage. I'm looting things. Um, if you would like to help me, I would uh, roll with advantage, and I uh, think it would be better. It I found good stuff to me. in the chair okay. later. Don't worry, guys. I'm not taking it all for myself. Uh, 25 again. Um, so, solid. As you read through the frescoes and investigate <laughs> and try to look for a mechanism, um, yeah. Tim, you come across a next portion of the written dialect where it states, in the hours of darkness, uh, there must be complete darkness before there is light. Mind you, I don't think that you've revealed any of this information to the party yet. Just yes. Like so, yeah. Uh, but, but the rest of you guys are noticing some sort of strange encro encroaching darkness that's beginning to uh, take over the light that the obelisk is casting. Yay! Yeah. And as it um, gets closer to you, it feels unearthly. Yeah, I would, would like to... What? I, so far to them? Go back to them? It, And uh, from what you can, you can roll the 25 investigation. Um, there doesn't appear to be any mechanisms on the frescoes. Uh, 
but there is next to each of the ornate handles uh, uh, a um, scuffing. What is it called? Uh, a smothering, like a smothering, <laughs> tube, yeah, a candle snuff that appears to be ornate and decorative as well, and has some sort of ceremonious uh, placement engraved and it kind of slots into a spot and it's, it appears to be the only thing that you can really discern as a mechanism. Hmm. Roll I time. Can... Hmm. What's that? I'm rolling time. Are you rolling time? Yeah. Um, I... So, who, who knows about the darkness before light? Tim does, and he's yeah. now explaining it to you. Okay. Yeah. I suggest that uh, perhaps we should uh, put out the sconces. Are you going to continue to read In order. the ob- Is there m- There's more on the obelisk, correct? Uh so. There's other runes and, ins- and inscriptions of which um, you're not sure if it could yield any information, but there's always more to read on it. It's layered with layered mm-hmm. with inscriptions. Kind of takes time to go through it. Some of them are repetitive. Okay. I'd like to do a little. Well, maybe if I do a benediction to strength, honor, or valor, honor craftsmanship as we're putting out the candles and do them in sequence yes that's that is exactly what I'm thinking we should do I'm gonna move up here with Tim let's do it okay so uh, who can tell which like candle which sconce is which day uh, so who, I found- who has that ability to read uh, I can do it just fine. Okay. If you remember the order, you can see on the fresco which it is. Oh, That's you can't. It. Okay, perfect. So let's uh, let's turn off day one strength first. Okay. So Fen, you uh, kind of hop up onto the uh, altar and you grab the first snuffing tool and place it over the light. And it goes dark. A sudden shift in the air brings forward uh, scratching sounds in the darkness that is now uh, getting closer and closer, as though long tendrils or nails are dragged across the stone, <laughs> lashing in the distance. Lovely. Um, I'm going to cast Death Ward on Valen. Okay. Is mm-hmm. there any nice. on the obelisk? Does not appear to have any. Okay. Well, don't be scared of. Should we go for day two? As me elf or it. other elf? Uh, me me elf probably. Um, yeah. Which elf? There's three of us. So what would you guys say is day two? Uh, day two is. Valor. We need to find the Valor sconce and deafen its fire. Uh, Valor is over here on the middle. on the middle of the east northern side. Northeast? Yeah. Here it is here, Valor. As you Perfect. Approach, you grab the scouts, a little worried, um, and you snuff out the light. Again, the center light flickers for a moment and then becomes dimmer. Perfect. Shall we move to day three? 
Day three is wisdom of the hero. Get over here, Star. Wisdom can be found on the northwest corner, or the northwest center. You run up and place the snuffer on the sconce, eliminating the light. With just two lights left, uh, the impeding threat of darkness begins to overtake much of the room. Uh, in order to keep uh, into okay. the light, kind of have to move in. Um, there are two left. Which is your next choice? Perfect. Does anybody next want to action from good, good and evil? No, that's going to be fine. We're going to turn these off in the right order and nothing bad will happen. You have to have faith. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, what corner did you say that was? Oh, Day right. four is honor. Honor? Honor. Honor. This can be found at the very northern tip of the Wow. Uh, on climbing up the last uh, altar, you notice that based on the how dark things have been getting, the last one, you may have to run to it through the darkness to get to it. Uh, I, was, I could suggest that they stand at the... You know, one person stands at one of the frescoes and the other stands at the other one. So and that they don't to do it simultaneously. Oh, well, maybe not simultaneously, but that way they don't have to run through darkness. Hmm. <laughs> good good call. I'm not scared. So is that you? Do you want to go up there? Oh, I like the obelisk. <laughs> Stand in the light at the next altar. We'll turn this one off and somebody will make the run. Yeah, I think. So you're choosing to run to the next fresco? I can stand what? near the last fresco Person. and okay. yeah, yeah, shut it off. Stand. Yeah. Uh, the I'm, last where? fresco is on the very eastern point. Over here, yeah. I'll come and it shows over here. I do have Death Ward. This fresco. Yeah. Yes, the last day is craftsmanship after... Uh... Honor. Okay. So, as you communicate between each other, the darkness is almost so impeding that you lose Valon as soon as he walks into the, the light of the other one. You can't even see him. It's super dark, even with your dark vision. Um, and you let him know you're going to place the, uh, the stunts for the snuffer. And as you place fourth one, you become encased in darkness. And Valen, uh, the dwarf, shouts out to you that he's done the deed. I will, uh, I will then place the snuffer on this one as well. As you begin to place the snuffer, uh, Fen, you feel the strange leathery grasp of tendrils around your body. Uh, and you let out a, a bewildered Want as they begin to climb up your body and into your armor and underneath, caressing your skin. Um, and Valen, the same tendrils begun to leach through the light that's emanating from the Scots as you put out the final light. Um, and they persist even after the lights are out? You can't see. I think we should like. No, do, I, do I feel them even after the lights go out? As you wait with anticipation of the tendrils, all of the party members feel the grasp and the shake of tendrils as they wrap themselves around you and almost with inhuman strength shake you like a little rattling toy. They slam you down to the ground. Then a huge burst of light emanates from the obelisk. Oh and, uh, boy. Oh boy. Um, that's not. Yeah. That's 
I thought we were going to have some calamari for a second. <laughs> right? All of the tendrils begin to disintegrate in your very eyes, uh, just into a puff of dust. Uh, the obelisk separates down the center and begins to shake. <laughs> the sides open up and reveal by the gods. Star! Pour my beard! What a glorious day this is, brothers! Oof. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll call it a glorious day. Fondled by <laughs> tentacles. Not exactly glorious in my book, but... Chigiosa! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there inside of the chest at the center of the obelisk lies the harp of dissonance a magical well, let's see if I have a picture Ooh. Ooh. That thing is gnarly. Very nice, very nice. Uh, it shimmers with sort of crystalline um, uh, traits. It appears as though it's made out of some sort of hard stone, but it's actually more akin to some sort of crystal structure. Each strum or light uh, tap on the device sends an emanating sound wave that kind of bounces on back and forth between the strings of the harp and creates some sort of strange melody. Even as, even as, um, un, um, even as you may have knocked it in, in not like a, a confident strum of an instrument, it still emanates some sort of beautiful notes um, that soothe you. Even standing say? still, you say? Uh, even, well, even if you, even when you um, accidentally bump the heart, it still kind of starts uh, creating sound waves inside of itself and then bouncing off the strings and creating a soothing melody. Mr. Bard, you I think you should pluck this harp from its pedestal. Hopefully it may cleanse this place. <laughs> Can I walk up to it and pluck one string? Sure. <laughs> Make a performance check. Guidance be with you. <laughs> Hand on the dagger. Can't wait to trip and fall into it. Performance <laughs> with guidance? Sure. Alright. Excuse me. I wasn't sure if <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> um, you pluck, you pluck one of the strings loud and true, and again, it creates a vibratory sound, almost akin to some sort of angelic voice that reaches out from the harp and kind of bounces around the room. It appears quite loud, but not to the point of discomfort. In fact, it kind of lulls your senses, uh, and the rest of the world kind of fades away for a moment before you realize that you're still in the Orland Caves. Hmm. What a marvelous tune. Well, can I say it just a place? <laughs> Use my heart. <laughs> Not one lesson. Can you believe it? <laughs> no way. I don't believe it. Savant. <laughs> we gotta get this guy endorsed. <laughs> uh, and so we we've plucked the harp from its pedestal. Who's taking it? Still there. Yeah, it's still there. Ooh, ooh. 
I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, I think me, Fed, or... or... We make Ericsson do it. Ericsson? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um... I'm not sure if I can pick up it. Okay, Somebody then, else. uh... He's not... One, no, one of you didn't... more constitutable boys. Loot it. It has been looted. Nice. Uh, retract it from its pedestal. A sudden shift occurs, and the obelisk itself crumbles where there's no dust. Well, I think it's time to get out of here, boys. <laughs> I, uh... I think you are correct, Master Dorf. Um, hey, Mr. Tim, do you mind the light? Bye. Cash Driver, pull out a torch. I'll use a torch, too. Be 66. Was it 30 bright, 30 dim, or 60 bright, 60 dim? Uh, do we want to go... With my armor. I, oh, the armor is, uh... 60, 30 bright, 60 dim. Ah. Hi. Okay. Can you go work with me? 60. Outside? Outside, go work. <gasps> oh, oh. It's okay, buddy. It just surprised you. It didn't even hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do like the, the snot plunge thing. Okay. Uh, which is like when he's sick, you have to clean his nose. Yeah. Like, 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 sucker. Yeah. Yeah. And he like he'll scream bloody murder while we're doing it, and as soon as we're done, he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not so bad. Do I like the room? You light the room up. Oh, okay. it's fucking bright. Yeah, it oh. is. Even the wall of the obelisk actually should um, You notice that when you cast the light, uh, one of the doors, uh, which appears to be kind of like a wall, it, you were, it looked like a doorway, but it looked like it was actually a built-in wall. <laughs> the bright light itself dissipates, and... Uh, Dissipates the door, and you notice that it was an old. Hmm. Oh, interesting. All right. On. So there is another way to go, um, or you can leave through the way you came. Fortune favors the bold. Through the door. Yeah. And the... We go through the door. Is there any inscriptions on the door? Oh, it's gone now. Oh, it's gone. Oh, right. Room. And you're now back in the abyss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've got the carpet. Can you help? I thought we were going to have to play the harp to get out. Hmm. Thankfully. You find yourself You see, it's been a long, hard road. I'm looking forward to some downtime when this is all over, I tell you. Oh, We've still got to go see if, uh, our, our buddy, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I can uh, sure use a day in the springs of the three sisters. Yeah, maybe a month. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, look at that fluffy cloud over there. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like one of the dark ones. Constantly. Go there, take a vow of silence. <laughs> Multi-class into a monk. That's where my character is. <laughs> yeah. He's had enough of this. Oh. Um, 
as you venture down through the hallway, uh, you find um, yourself appears to be a catacombs. Oh, I hate all this. No more. It's a catacombs. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Finn has a problem. He can't tone it down. <laughs> um, can't tone it down. Tone it up. Yeah. <laughs> Metal militia. So uh, there is an old torch which appears to be burning, entering as you enter the catacombs, um, casting light down a far hallway. Um, you're, it's about a five foot wide narrow um hallway and the floors are a mix of crushed and broken stone uh and inscriptions of which the languages don't seem to make sense this place is even older by my estimate it doesn't look dwarvish it doesn't look like it was created which is mm, maybe they stumbled into it when at least they still hold a flame. <laughs> uh, you may move in intervals. Okay. Going left. Uh, the door, the the area. I don't want to move in the hallway. I don't want to. Can I just like? Can we just not? Can we just like go back? Can I peek around the corner and be like, "Hey, I ever think you be able to?" Which way did we come in from? This way or this way? From the north. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's around that corner? I leap to the other side and point my finger like a gun down the hallway. (laughs) Ready to cast Guiding Bolt. (laughs) (laughs) As you draw around the corner, you see what appears to be an old adventurer's campsite. Um... Oh, looks like my kind of people. It's a small secluded area. The remnants of the campsite lie in disarray. An old bedroll, frayed and stained, is sprawled on the ground nearby. Scattered camp supplies, a rusted cooking pot, a broken lantern, and a few moldy books. Speak of a long forgotten presence. The eerie stillness of the area suggests whoever made the camp here met an untimely end or abandoned this place with haste. The campsite, though decrepit, may hold valuable clues or items. Uh, if you sort through it, but other than that, uh, it'll be a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Can I look for a journal in the books? Or maybe these other ones will prick your ears, self. I would... I am very intrigued at the thought that maybe there's something valuable in these texts. They're a little stinky, though. <laughs> As you draw into the campsite, who else is following? I'll go with... I guess I'll go. Is there any signs of a scuffle? Is is there disarray? Tim, are you coming? Over possibly somebody died there or possibly somebody ran from somebody. Um, Any tracks to try to make out what they are? What they ran from? Yeah, easy. I mean, not easy, but yes. I'm pretty good at those. You should, and you, you should like look at those walking. tracks and see if there's anything to come from them. I don't know what those tracks are. Most likely something from a dream. I've heard tracks over here. You're pretty sure it was Hobgoblin. <laughs> yeah, most likely it was uh, some Hobgoblins <laughs> came through here. Tempest guided me. Oh, <laughs> I think Give it was a, a goblin. Give me a second. <laughs> you guys definitely believe hobgoblins. Hey, Ivor. It might have been a pigeon. <laughs> I'm not too sure how good these guys are at this. Do you mind coming and looking at these tracks over here? Oh, shaboy, shaboy, oh, boy. <laughs> I'm the Scottish cowboy. Let me look at those tracks. <laughs> I third them. It was definitely a hobgoblin. He thinks it was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was an Afghan warthog. 
They run. That's all that happened here. Bye, Profession. What, what was all that happened here? I didn't hear that. They ran away. They, they ran, ran away. away. Okay, okay. Um, as you kind of... Let's move there. Um, as you kind of peer around the labyrinth, the one corridor extends south uh, and appears to be some sort of a dead end, but possibly something you can squeeze through. The other corridor uh, goes uh, west and opens up into a larger corridor. Which direction would you like to go? I'm going to grab some. Did I manage to find anything in the books? Um, no, you did not. As they, as you kind of pulled through, they crumbled. Don't. Crumbly books. What are in these crumbly books? That's what I said that they fell apart when they entered our hands. Uh, Uh, Do they appear to just be journals, or um, were they a little more intricate than just some journals? uh, The writing was in Elvish, uh, but it was indiscernible as the Yeah. That the ink is all (laughs) I guess mending! (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Can you mend the books? <laughs> I think they used invisible ink. <laughs> I used zone of truth on the books. You told me your secrets. Tell me books. What goes ye? It's <laughs> also matches. Yeah. Oh, careful, there's half an arrow. I'll rub it all over my eyes. So, which direction? Um, In the I mean... Was I able to tell if there was, like, two distinct sets of tracks leading? I... Mm. I were... Ivor succeeded, um, but it just looks like one set. Just put one set, and that's leap. That's going which way? South or west? South. South. But that's where the narrow gap is. Gotcha. Well, good thing we don't have a Goliath. We're all pretty nimble down here in the caves. Hmm. You want to go spunking? Or do hmm. we go west? Uh. uh hmm. I have a question. We, uh. Where are we? In, um. Reference to where we heard of the, the boon. That's far away from here, correct? Spelunking isn't. In this, we're not spelunking in the same spot. That was back in the abyssal realm. Right. Okay. I knew it was in the abyssal realm, but then um, I wasn't sure where this thing is going. Um, mayhaps spelunking isn't the quickest, safest way to leave here. Oh. He fell and died. What? Did you do that? He's, he, oh. he's, he's no longer with us. <laughs> Who fell and died? Collapses. Well, so I got my torch out. Do I see into this little room here? Or alcove or whatever? So as you peer through the alcove, uh, you do indeed find a desiccated corpse. Kind of in... It hasn't really decayed as much as you thought it might based on how old those texts were. And it appears to be uh, set in a a state of fear, terror. Well, that's not healthy. Um, 
What are these round things here? Uh, uh, they're just um, casks. Casks. Or like baskets. Yeah. Hmm. I think this thing watched Thriller one too many times. Hmm. He's locked in a grimace. Yeah. So it's difficult terrain there, but it doesn't seem like there's any exit. There should be a dead end. Looks like a dead end. <laughs> oh. Anybody want to look closer? Nope. If it's a dead end, looks like a dead end, we'll call it a dead end, and we'll go to the west. I had a dead feeling about this corner. Uh, it was <laughs> uh, Get him out of here. <laughs> Embrace the cheese. So as you guys round back to the main corridor, uh, you are left with the one direction uh, remaining. I thought they split up. Well, they're here. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> yes. They love the one direction. One. Why do you guys give me a marching order? Come up close with me up here, Ivor. I want to go right behind, uh, Right behind Fen. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you elves hang That's out up. in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Three elves, a cobalt, a dwarf, and a human walk into a bar. <laughs> I think this would be a much better way to do it. Just kind of working on my DM skills here, but I've been kind of walking you guys through it, theater of mine rather than tracing around my DMs. So we'll try that. Yep. Um, so as you as you walk around uh, the next corridor, it kind of it opens up. Um, it, it narrows out first to a five foot wide uh, entryway. It appears that the stones are kind of aligned and misaligned in some sort of labyrinth. Um, and as you kind of look through without getting too close, the next area opens up into another, what appears to be dead end. Um, and there's a couple stones that have fallen in and collapsed. And the, uh, there is another avenue just on the outside, on the southwest side of this place. Um, that draws your attention. Look at this. What's this? There's something in the end. And you continue on um, down through until you find yourselves in another uh, um, offshoot. One of the paths leads north into what appears to be a crumbling avenue of the labyrinth. And then the other way leads down a very narrow, almost like three foot wide alcove. Do you guys want to investigate and which way? Um, we would like, I, I would like to investigate, uh, but I need to try and orientate myself. Um, are we not trying to leave? It or are we... Go ahead. It does this... appear like you're into a labyrinth. Okay. 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 So my question is, should we continue to traverse deeper into a labyrinth where we may be lost, never to be heard from again? Or <laughs> should we backtrack, retrace our steps, and leave here. 
The rewards in this place, however, does appear that it holds some very, very precious things. Such as the, the new god, and we does we go forward, yes. <laughs> this is what we call open world, boys. <laughs> Why is it girl? So, Could I? It might be worth the boon. The amulet of Solara, uh, I was thinking we could try using that and see Ooh. if there might be something really nice in there. I was thinking that as well. That will require a short rest down here. Just to attune to it. There's a little adventurer's cap somewhere. You mentioned the, you mentioned the amulet and Valen's eyes perks up and they glow a little brighter just from sheer beaming at being able to see it. <laughs> What's your mission, Elf? <laughs> 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 Do they pop out like a cartoon? The... For sure. Tongue tongue laying out and everything. I notice your eyes won't be missing this. Oh, oh to lay my hands upon such beautiful mastery. Wait your turn, it's mine. <laughs> We're all going to take turns to use it. That was the... Yeah, the agreement. Oh. Oh. But he gets to search for their heart's desire. I didn't find mine. I just found a drum. <laughs> well, no, I feel it go ahead and pull it out. Use it. Mayhaps I should uh, take the time and get us a non-scrying um, area available, huh? Tiny hut or whatever you do have. It, yeah, do it from inside of my tiny hut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So who's taking the amulet? I would. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and cast tiny hut. Uh, ritual. It'll take ten minutes, if that's okay with you folks. But better to be <laughs> safe than sorry. It again. Yes, yes, yes. Three. I keep reading that book that I always seem to have on me, and <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to familiar myself with it, and because I need to read, I need to read all of it in one stretch. Yeah. So I'm just trying to. Figure out where the chapters are. Dave liked yeah. John, but John didn't Partition like Dave. a little bit, preparing myself for, for the big read. Yeah. Um, so you cast in this tiny hut. <laughs> yes. And so sphere appears around all of you. Um, and you go for a short rest. Uh, you may expend your hit die as needed. I guess look, temporary hit points are pretty well. Um, that'd be they're up for a day. Okay. Well, I passed the amulet to Tim, the savior. Take a little break with it. Drool comes <laughs> off the side of my lip. <laughs> As it comes out of the box. Look at that touch of value. Um, so Tim, as you complete your attunement with the amulet of Solara, uh the beaming light in which you're used to feeling does not appear to be present for you. Okay. Identifying that there are no known relics, the nearest one kilometer. Okay. Mm, if there's no relics nearby, I don't think we travel further. I think we go back. But that's just my my vote. So there's nothing super cool, but there could be something cool still. Yes. Like another airship. Or a land ship. <laughs> um, 
Very well, I suppose uh, it should be. Is still here? I haven't heard her talk. Yeah. I haven't heard her talk. But she... Oh, she's muted herself. Sorry, I'm, huh? I'm still here. I was grabbing lunch. I apologize. Oh, okay. I just was curious if I, you had I am, I am existent. I'm sorry. Ooh. I had my phone told on. I heard everything. I think, yeah, leaving would probably be a good idea. Hmm. No, I do remember this one story about a fellow who has lengths of rope. And he went through a labyrinth. labyrinth. Uh-huh. <laughs> if he, like uh, some sort of uh, minotaur or something. There's also one uh -oh. about bed crumbs. So I'm assuming the consensus is that now that there are no relics discernible, you guys are heading back. Correct. Probably. Okay. So. I will reverse the rushing order. No reason to risk it. We got the harp of dissonance, so. You guys can have your short rest, obviously. Yes. <laughs> um, as you as you kind of make your way back, uh, you're pretty. You haven't gone that far in the labyrinth, so nothing's really taken a hold as far as uh, forgetting where you are. Um, but you do kind of begin to notice around the next corridor, um, uh -oh. strange lights are kind of emanating. This warm glow kind of appears to appear mm. and then droop away. Mm. Without getting too close, um, something could be moving around the next corridor. Ben, what's your opinion on this one? Want me to fight some? <laughs> maybe he wants the tango. Yeah, maybe Ben's not the right one to ask about. <laughs> <laughs> he might be the more reasonable fellow. Um, what, what was the question? I'm sorry. There's a weird light emanating warmth, flickering and maybe moving warmth like the something. warmth from a torch pretty much yeah lovely um one moment let me see what i have uh minor illusion i will i will cast minor illusion and okay. i will the it's coming from over this direction right no, it's actually no. from the way you came. Okay. Oh, from the way we came. Well, then I will oh, cast the minor illusion in the direction we came, and the minor illusion will simply say, Who goes there? <laughs> uh, your words echo into the distance uh, and bounce back to you. But no other immediate things are noticed. Hmm. <laughs> I prepare a fire bolt in my hand, and I will tap uh, Tim and, and uh, Finn on the shoulder, and you first. <laughs> <laughs> well, you and I are the ones that still have death warrant on us. Finn don't. Uh, 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 why, why make sense? <laughs> it's all good. Nah, it's fine. Me and Finn will go. It's like, nah. -uh. Scared. <laughs> He's an old young elf. Maybe how they how their years work, or their ears. Okay, so who are you talking as, about? I'm assuming Fen. You're gonna walk up. Sure. So as you kind oh. of crest around the corner, Fen and Tim. Um, Fen and Tim. Yeah. Yep. Send Tim up there too. Just make sure it's not a chimera this time. Hold back, hold back, hold back. You just see hold back, hold back. whatever is moving around is casting light in the corners up ahead. That's what it is. No. -uh. We see, just, what is it ahead? I'm sorry. 
Uh, just some light being cast from the next set of corners. Is this and arcane light, or is this, like, firelight? Can I... It appears natural. Oh, I was going to ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to ask it? I was wondering about... Should I try detect magic? It appears natural. There might be a reason. I suppose it could appear natural, yet detect magic could still yield some... Use. Something could be right. trying to fool us into making shield at the ready. Think it's natural. <laughs> okay. Now, Not a good idea. You're gonna pursue up ahead. Shield up. I'll try detect magic. Double check. So I'm moving half speed. Okay. I'm being as cautious as I possibly can. I'm gonna try to stealth. If why not? Whoa. With, uh, yeah. Nice circle, Tim. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> ching, 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 ching. <laughs> <laughs> Never could sneak up on anything. Way we came. <laughs> so, as you move up, uh, 15 feet. Um, your your stealth is interrupted by two large creatures that begin to clamor towards you. Oh, no! Two large creatures begin to cam clamor towards us. Yeah, they're kind of like skirting and b bouncing. Uh, slinking across the ground. I will... I got a feeling I'm not going to like them. With a better description. <clears throat> what oh! appears to be gelatinous <laughs> cubes embroidered with lava inside of them. Oh, so mama. Become, begin sliding across the floor, alerted to your presence. <clears throat> and that is where we will end for the day. Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> All right, <laughs> deuces. Here, do a combat, and I need initiatives. Okay, that's probably what's light. Oh, and they're on the ceiling. Oh, I like oh. ones that taste like cherries, I think. Yeah. Whoa, I rolled a 12. Oh, ah, ah. you're going last in the mission for once. Yo, that's me. I get to go last. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, I haven't awesome. rolled yet. You know that. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I tried yeah. to give you hope. I tried. I appreciate the effort. You're welcome. I really, I really prayed for a, for a low ball there. <laughs> yeah, right? Not bad. Yeah. You're still Two not that high. Still not high on, that high on the... the Tim, what's yep. with you in your 20s? Oh my god, Bruh. it's like every time. I don't know. I, I don't want to go first every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's too damn bad, I guess. Alright, I guess I'll go, go follow over to where... Oh, yeah, it's kind of paused, I guess. I'll go follow up to where Fen is. Uh, as you take your first step out, you notice these infernal cubes sliding across the roof, kind of bubbling like full cups of water. Um, maybe we can just walk past them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Quite fast. Mm -hmm. And of course they have a climb speed. Run away. <laughs> to where? Away. Deeper into the labyrinth? I don't think so. <laughs> um, well then. Well then. I'll use a... Uh, I'll go next to Fen. Use Sacred Flame on one of them. Uh, this one. 
Go. Uh, so it does not take any damage as it dodges your sinker. Oh no! So no. <laughs> Erickson. Are you gonna RP Erickson? Uh, uh, yes, I can. I can. So, um, Erickson is going to come over this way so you can get a look. It's uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. <clears throat> and you see them all. Um, Erickson isn't wanting to play, so, uh, go here, that's who fly, that's who invisibility, that's who levitate, that's who, that's who, that's who, that's who, that's who, that's who. Uh, never mind, that does fire, and I'm assuming that a fired beast wouldn't feel fire damage, so... He is going to cast Elemental Shield. First off. Good. Okay. Good, good. Oh. Wait. I guess I gotta target them first. Sorry. Don't know how it works. Elemental Shield. Cast spell. Boom. There we go. Uh, so now, the three of us, Erickson, Tim, and uh, Finn, have uh, resistance to fire, cold, and lightning damage for one minute. Um, and he's out of movement, so that's it. All right. Iver. Tim, are you going to Iver, or should I Iver? I'll let you Iver. Okay. Uh, he's going to move up here. He is going to fire his short bow. Uh, and then he is going to cunning action. Uh, back the fuck off. Does it do any visible damage? Uh, the arrow penetrates, and a little bit of uh, fire leaks out of the hole, and it leaves a little bit of a gaping wound in Q. Ithinus, it is your turn. Lovely. I am gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna move up here by Erickson and take a peek. And I'm gonna stay... Mm. There's not much I can... What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Do nothing. Yeah, there's not much I can do. Uh... Um. Well, I will move up here, and then I'm gonna. I must mm. shoot him. Shoot him. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go for it. Never mind. On one brothers, uh, boop, and I'm uh, I'm uh, shoot him. How's the 26? That is a hit, it's a mess. Not a hit, sadly. Oh, shush, <laughs> he take a 12 damage. I'm gonna shoot him again. Do it, a boop, he 17. That is a hit, lovely. I'm gonna hit, and he take he take twelve damage again. Nice. He should die. Uh, he lets out a quiver and a shake, and the acid or the the fire from inside of him kind of bubbles forth and frosts out of the holes as the longbow arrows goes right through, leaving gaping holes in it. 
Sweet. Whatever you have done, it feels pain for sure. I'm so glad. So glad. Ben, it's your turn. <laughs> Yay. Uh, really more crap. Tempest take you and I cast guiding bolts. Hmm. This is the one that was being shot at, right? Yes. Okay. Cast it at level two. Guiding bolt. Twenty-one to hit. That is a hit. Oh. Whip a guiding bolt. <laughs> Hits the gelatinous ooze and it shivers. <laughs> a big aura goes around of it, illuminating it and uh, almost predictively showing everybody its name for advantage. Okay. Do you want some have an arrow? I don't think you do. I'll post up here and uh, get ready to meet its charge, I guess. Yay! Uh, I'm going to bonus action. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give myself plus one strength. Oh. With my hammer of Tempest. Okay. Do, do, do. So you use your uh, your hammer of tempest to conjure divine strength, increasing your strength for by two. Uh, Val, your turn. I think he's muted, but keep moving up. He's I am over. not muted. I was muted. Not anymore. Uh, so I'll move here. It's 25 feet. I move here, and we're going to magic missile this thing. Um, we're just going to hit him with a level 1 magic missile. Okay. T. T. Magic missile. Cast. Okay. And then... 1... Wait, is it calculating it? You either got to do it individually or write it in. Oh, there it goes. Alright. There's that one. That one. That one. Um. Spew for three forceful magic missile darts. Nice. Plop him and then back up. All right. The magic missiles pelt the ooze. Again, creating small little lacerations where the fire appears to leach out of it. 11 damage total. Sick. Uh, that ooze appears near dead. Yeah. This ooze is Should have done level level two. And he is going to drop. So, target you, this. Tim, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. As the ooze jumps <laughs> towards <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Sorry, do you want me to salt check my dice? Yeah. Uh, so you Easy. jump out of the way as the ooze lands on the ground. Hey. And it splatters you a little bit. <laughs> with fire damage. Wow. Good job. Do a triple backflip. <laughs> the next one is going to attempt to pounce onto. Um, yeah, this one's on the ground. This one's jumping down to the ground. I need a dexterity save. Okay, okay, I got this. Come on. That is a fail. So you are. No! Dude, it looks like you took. Uh, Fire resistance. Four damage. He is yeah. resistance to fire. Four. Oh, uh, shows... you calculated the resistance already. Yep. Oh yeah, it did. I took uh, five. It says. Well, you took you took four. It was originally nine, but it rounded it down to four. Actually, it should mm, should have been more than that. So you failed your dexterity save, but you have fire resistance, so you should have taken nine damage. Nine. Yeah. So it should be a fifth. Wait, no, no, no. He's taken half because of resistance. Yeah, but he failed. It. He would have taken full damage. Full damage yeah. was 18. Oh, so it doesn't show us 18 here. It just shows us 9. So that's, yeah. that's why I was thinking. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not sure why I did that, but you can see this okay. is the calculation. It's done 59 health at 4 damage. 9 half is 4. Equals 54. So it did... That's weird. Five damage to you? Yeah, that's weird. Anyway, it's all... Uh, um, okay, so it pounces down. You take half damage from your fire resist. Uh, you are grappled and engulfed. Awesome. And then it is Tim's turn. Sacred flame on that one. You sound so nonchalant about it. Failed. Oh, you targeted the one in front of you. Yeah. Hey, nice. And nice. mace him. 14 damage. And you're going to mace him? Yeah. Sacred flame is an action, though. Yes. Oh, is it? Ah, shoot. Yeah. Right. Yes, yes. I can't do that. No, Stupid can't. actions and yeah. bonus actions. You can take a few levels in fighter if you want. Yeah. Yeah, right now I'll do it. <laughs> you guys get your boot. You can put two levels in fighter. You see Tim suddenly become better at <laughs> fighting. He can now do two actions. Okay, so 14 damage with the Sacred Flame. Is that it for your turn, Tim? Uh, I don't have any bonus attack. Bonus actions that I can attack with. Fortunately, you're not a rogue. Yeah, that'll be Interactive good. object five times. <laughs> uh, Erickson's turn. All right. Erickson is, uh. Yeah, all of this fire stuff is useless. So. Yeah. Are these monsters? No, what? Are they classified as monsters? Um, yes. Okay. Never mind, that doesn't help any. Um. He is going to... <coughs> Where's the inventory? Where's this? Where's this stuff? Here it is. Until the salt, uh, it's it's hidden. But he'll just uh, he'll shoot the this one with hand crossbow attack. Normal twenty four. Normal. Uh. Uh, and can use. You roll it with a bag. Oh, sick. Wow. No. You didn't roll it with an advantage? Doesn't matter. N no. Um, dead? Being bolt on himself. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, true. Well, it's dead, so. Um, and then he'll try to tumble to the wow. top corner up here through Ithanus. Okay. 
Well, Jithinus okay. isn't locked in combat with anyone, so I don't know if he has to. Nope. nope. I am not okay. locked in combat anymore. Yeah. He goes there and ends his turn. All right. Hey, if you want, um, we can just remove him from the um, from the game for now. Okay. You don't have to him? That'll work. Yeah. It's just like, it's a bit much, right? Well, there's a lot of stuff there that's hidden that I can't see on a sheet, so yeah, that'll work. That's fine. We'll just, uh, it's a whole lot of miss sessions, so fucking. This here. Yeah. With the rusty spoon. <laughs> oh, your apple. Okay, that's what that was. <laughs> All I heard was like five to ten seconds of silence, and then just rusty spoon, and I was like, <laughs> just just made me laugh. Uh, I realized that John likes my backpack. He runs into the crowd. Shoots his crossbow. Triple? Uh, hand cross. Just, I added edge. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. it's not added. Oh, wait. He's gonna. Here's what he's gonna do. He's gonna cunning action hide. Stealth check. Uh, he succeeds against the passive perception of the cube, and he is going to attack with advantage because he is stealthed. My right. short bow. That is a hit, uh, but it gets six attacks as well. Let's see if sneak attack. Woo! Ooh, massive damage. Wow. That's how you rogue. Yeah. Action yeah, it is. Yeah. Putting action hide now. I know it's very safe. Yeah. And I can hide behind my Mr. I can hide behind people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, but yeah. That, that's in my character tree is the halfling yeah halflings so strong so OP for rogue I looked at that and I was like, oh, that's fucked yeah. <laughs> um, classic Regis yes and that's his turn so if this is your turn beautiful you I'm gonna quite hurt I wouldn't say near dead, but moderately wounded. Awesome, I'm gonna shoot it. It's leeching out a bunch of fire all over the place. Shoot it in its face. Does it have <laughs> a face? <laughs> it's got multiple, it's got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six faces. Yeah. How's <laughs> a six, Steen? Arrive to that conclusion faster. <laughs> um, yes, that hits. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna hit it again. Nice. And a boop. A 19. Lovely. Uh, and a boop. He dead yet? Let's go! Nice. Onto the ground. And bobble into the floor. You can all level up. Nice. Walk that around that. <laughs> well, do we uh, actually get to level up? That's the real question. Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah. He's fucking with. <laughs> I know, I know. Man, I had already pulled my sheet up. I was I was adding things. I was like, hmm, these are some very intricate runes they've got pasted around here. I definitely learned some things. About two levels <laughs> worth of things on the runes on the wall. <laughs> Alright, so, as you guys make your way back, uh, you enter back into the... Uh, I'm just going to fast track you guys. Get you out the door. You go back into the chamber where the Heart of Dissonance was, decide that the labyrinth is not something you want to go down, uh, and begin back through the Caves of Warland. I'm going to need... A... Stealth check. Okay. 
Group stealth check. Oh, oh, oh. No guidance. <laughs> It is for your travel back out of the Caves of War Lab Crisis. No. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apologies. Yeah, no joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard stunts for all of us. <laughs> yeah. Ivor just takes his own path like fuck these dudes. Oh, it's disadvantage. God damn. What? I don't think you have to do it at disadvantage, no, dude. It, right. my, disadvantage, my disadvantage no. button was highlighted. Me and uh, Fen have to do it at disadvantage because we've got heavy armor on, right? I heavy. think that... What, what armor are you wearing? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Oh yeah, you I'm wearing fail now. Yeah, that's disadvantage. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's okay. I did not have disadvantage, and I still f did well, horribly. Well, look at you! doo for you! Nah, so I failed walk... worse than you did. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm so like <laughs> through cheering, clattering our beer-filled mugs, yes. and shouting, partying down the halls. So, here's the real question. Are you guys leaving the Caves of Orla? Can we please... You could either leave the caves or go down. I think there's a couple other areas that you guys haven't explored. We want to leave. You can come back. Yeah, we can come back later. But there's a sure. there's a person needing saving, and the world is at you know very okay. high risk. I think we should go. This is true, friend. This is true. Save our buddy. The best friend. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh, Erickson is no longer going to play. Yeah. I'll set up the marching order. If you hold shift and then click down, put that that pointer down, but it uh, rotates your camera over to where you can. Cool. Um, all right. So you guys traipse through. You're almost out of the caves of Orland. Unfortunately, you are alerting the zombie presence. Caves of God Orland. damn it. And as you get to the doorway, you find yourselves in another conflict. Surprise, surprise. Love it. <laughs> I need to roll. Um, I need performance to roll. checks. Performance checks. Act like zombies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a disguise kit. It could work if I really try. Initiative. I mean, Ivor's halfway there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty crispy fried myself. Valid. Yes. Please roll this uh, initiative. I thought I did. <laughs> oh, one second. I B. This is good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Valid, you are out No first. way. Okay. Like, All right. There were right. zombies that engage you guys from the corridors of the... I think this is the uh, the fur room. The fur room? Yeah. Oh, the fur zombies room. Zombies as in they're undead? Yeah. Ew, don't... There, not that freaking them. I hate the the hair. Color. The hair is oh, excellent. I love the hair so oh, much. I it's gross. I can't do it. It makes me nauseous. <laughs> I just... I can't... I can't do it. I will, I will not show that one to you guys. Do it again. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Show it to everyone uh, yeah, else yeah. but me. I think I can do that. Oh, that would be lovely because every time I just I look, I just I can't do it with hair, hair like that. I can't do it. Scroll one, yeah, and it seems to be working. <laughs> 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 
Bullshit, I can't... Bleh. Stop, you're feeding him. <laughs> okay, I... Martha... Wait, I can't blink. blink. Yes. Um, didn't know you could blink that. Uh, I will just go on ahead and move right over here next to this dwarf. Like right here. Stare him in the yeah. eye. And then... Okay. Go right here. Stare the dwarf in the eye. And then blink into the ethereal plane. Huh. And so at the roll of d20 at the end of your turn for the duration of the spell, on a roll of 11 or higher, you vanish from your current plane of existence and appear in the ethereal plane. Uh, well, you are... So you ascend from the material plane and it falls away from you. And you find yourself standing in a plane of darkness. Um, there are spirits in the ethereal plane. Are you serious right now? What the F? Lovely. Okay. No. Uh, they don't seem to notice you. Uh, Good. But seeing them is frightening, for sure. <laughs> uh, I can I can see and hear the plane that I originated from, though. So I see everything around. It's just in grayscale. Um, yes. But you're and also I cannot be affected by the current plane. I can be affected by some spirits, spirits in the ethereal plane, though. Now you're fueling him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a catch. <laughs> uh, okay. Excellent. So, the
Hey, it's Buck. Hey, Craig. Hi, Craig. Set up. Here's a click. 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 Hey, we're good. Screw that Craig guy. He's bitch. He's bitch. Fuck you, Craig. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't stand your Craig like that. Uh, anything else for your turn, Tim? Oh, no, I will end it. Okay, point. Next up, we have some fire elementals. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. I'm, I'm wrong. They do not fly. Oh, okay. They have fast movement speed, but they do not. However, they are going to run. <laughs> and he's going to attack Fen. Covered. I'm sorry roll. for your loss. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it's a crit fail. Woo! 100. It's 98. That's pretty high. Mm. Uh oh. Hey. <laughs> Good thing I ducked and rolled. <laughs> There's a 98. That is a. It's going to be overcommitted. Uh, DC 10 plus half your hit dice. Dexterity save on a success. You set yourself on a failure. You fall prone, but manage to land. Load would have hit it. So, um, his hit die. Lunges past you and trips over his own fiery feet. <laughs> oh, look at this hot head. <laughs> oh, he's immune to prone. No, oh, for Pete's okay. sakes. Come okay. on. So he just. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, okay, but he misses that attack. He gets another attack. He has to I am going to use my shield. Shield of War God. Yep. DC 11. 10. 10. 10. Wisdom With a roll. Results in. He fails. Yes. No strength. No strength. Uh, next fire element. So if you move up. Uh, how can he get into this? Shoot, hot. You're correct. This is a hot situation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty, pretty fiery, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Fen. Fen. <laughs> Poor Fen. Fen is up. Fen is up front. Uh, that is an attack without advantage, and another one. Two misses. This guy is going to come over here, and he is going to climb down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, there he. He's going for Venom. He succeeds. Okay, that's his turn. Valid. Your turn. All right. So, um, fairly certain that. Hang on one second. Um, I think that it is not wise to hit him with a fire bolt or a fire ball but i Probably. can hit him with some frost ray of frost but you said that they do not have flying correct do not have flying mm, i think i think that it may be advantageous to knock these fuckers off of the snake so that's Ballsy. probably a good idea, yeah. It's risky. And I'm going to say, don't let me die! And then I'm going to move. Well, uh, I can't move, but I would like to move to um, right here. Are you talking about knocking him, knocking them off of the snake entirely? Yes. How, how are you going to pose to do that? Thunderwave. Thunderwave only projects them 20 feet. Right. Is is this not the edge right here? Like this this line here oh. knocking down. Like it's a chasm. It's a chasm. It is okay. a chasm. Well then I would like to knock them into the chasm. Okay, so what would you like to do? 
I would like to move to here. This mm -hmm. square there. Oh, I can move. Okay, perfect. We'll right. move here. And then I'm going to cast Thunder Wave. Um, let's see. It's a first level. We're going to knock that up to third level. Thunder Wave. Third level. Cast Spell. So from right here, and it is going to the east, is the direction of the spell. Um, it's got to be emanating from me, so it'll be right, right there. there. And I will remove you two from it. And then we're going to cast. Nice. So uh, 19 damage. Um, on a success, they'll take half, but... On a success, they don't get pushed. If they fail, they are being pushed um, 50, uh, 10 feet away. So if this one moves 5, 10, it should be pushed into the chasm. It is not pushed into the chasm. Okay. It's just almost into the chasm. He is going to attempt to make a dexterity save in order to catch himself. Nice. He's a big boy. Not a lot of land underneath your feet there, big boy. Fall into the chasm. <laughs> he succeeds. Mm. So he, but he is on the other end of the ledge. Okay. God damn, these guys suck. Um, and the spell is successful. Well, it seems like it deals. Yes, damage. yes. It. I hope that it deals damage. Uh, in that case, <clears throat> I will. Um. Take the feet. yeah, it pushes it back ten feet. I was only uh, a minute. Okay. And then I'm gonna move away. If it has opportunity attacks, it will get an attack of opportunity on me. But indeed. Okay. Uh, attack uh, fifteen. Perfect. We're gonna cast shield. So he misses, bitch. And then I'm gonna go right there on the edge, and that's it. That's me. See how the tree disappears when you're. I when do. You're that's yeah, so I cool. That's so cool. I was messing. I, this is like stuff that I made a while ago, so I'm trying to remember what's at what stage of like learning the programs I was at. It's so cool. Uh, Fan your turn. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna look at Tim, and I'm going to call upon <clears throat> the right of my ancestors. And I'm going to twin a protection from good and evil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to target Tim, and I'm going to target myself. Okay. And then I'm going to use a bonus action. It actually worked. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. We are having problems with that. I think so. So use a meta magic sorcery point. One. Yeah, it's use divine strength. Elementals. This again. Getting hot in here. So, you cast Protection from Good and Evil, and then use your bonus action to give yourself 22 strength. Wow. I'm going to move over here. Okay. That's all I got. Great. Iris turn. Uh, he is going to fire at the Hurt One on the north side. He's actually, he's going to go... Yeah, you can't really hide it. So he's going to just... Sure. 
It's a hit. Garbage damage again. And it is your turn. All right. So, I, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, <laughs> Give me an H. Give me an M. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna move up so that we have him flanked. And then I'm gonna stab him and see what happens. At advantage. I know. I know that's why I moved up. Get him. Whack why I moved up. <laughs> All right, how's a 14? That is a hit. Lovely. <laughs> He's gonna take nine damage, and then I'm gonna hit him again. Maybe. Oh, I didn't roll it. Oh, whatever. In rebuttal, when you hit him, uh, you take fire damage. Well, I also take half fire damage because I have resistance. Neither, neither. Perfect. So you take two damage. Also. I also rolled a 24 on his ass, so I'm gonna hit him That's again. Good. Roll it. Seven. Fiery form again. Upon you. Take one and more. I'm going to hit him one more time. Lock him. Advantage. Crit. Yeah. I, let's go. Yeah. you going to take Very 15. Very nice. Form. I'm so cool, you guys. I'm so cool. All right. My turn's over. I'm a little ouchy, but it's okay. Tim, it's your turn. Oh, not like yeah. 77 I can't even see the point. Yeah, still, <laughs> I'm a little ouchy. 77 <laughs> HP. <laughs> More than double my full <laughs> HP. <laughs> We're almost 100 HP. Mm. I know. Dude, when we Ew. look up, I'm going to be so fucking buffed. I'm going to be so buffed. Yeah, and awesome. me and Ben can call our god. We have our gods on speed dial. Yeah. I think you only get to do it once, though. Yeah. Once per, what, is it like ever yeah. or something? No, not ever. Is it ever? No. No, it's not ever. I just remember. It just has like a long recharge, I think. Kyle uh, never wants you to call on them ever. He does not <laughs> give a fuck about your never. gods. Everybody comes to guys here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go right in between yeah, them. No divide uh, interaction. Let me see if it will actually do a thingy. Uh, oops. How that works. Can you get it next? Uh, Frost now. Uh, Draconic Cry. Draconic Cry. Oh, that's not gonna work. Doesn't look like it has it. Okay. I will have to. Alright, well, how you could you? Uh, I'm gonna put the targeted condition on them. And I am going to. Really cool artwork, though. Yeah, you did. It's really cool. Hmm. Well. So I got it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. Oh, that looks awesome! Oh. I might need that one. That, that one. looks sick. Yeah, you're just gonna have to start sending all the artwork to the Discord chat. <laughs> I'll I've, make I've another been, server I've for I've been occasionally artwork. saving some of them if I... If I figure uh, out how. It's all, oh, well. It's all gonna be... Oh, I'll mace. I'll mace that one in the tree hey, area. Mace him in the face him. Uh, and I am going to use the radiant strike. Do this first. <sighs> Is that a miss? What was a miss? Uh, That's an advantage? Oh, wait, advantage, right. Yeah, roll it again. I'll just do it. There we are. 16 to hit. Um, oh, now I have to do it again because it got rid of the damage thing when I rolled it like yeah. that. That's what it did to me! Yeah, that wasn't rolled for damage, that was just rolled for attack. So if you roll attack multiple times, it'll get rid of the damage, it seems. Yeah. Uh, Which is... 
Uh, okay, whatever. Anyways, damage. Ah, whatever. Okay. Roll. Damage. There. Whoa. And then the radiant divine it strike. So your base deals proportionate damage. And damage. There we go. So total fourteen, half of which is radiant. Oh yeah. Um, you take fire form damage. Fire form damage. Yeah. From the built-in fiery elemental. That's eight damage. Yeah. Ouch. Uh, like does the protection the action? Yeah. Protection uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It just has it disadvantage. It's just attacking. attacking. So yeah. this is like a. Okay. Okay, fire form. Uh, or sorry, the elemental is going to attack you at disadvantage. Yup, he sure is. That is a miss. And another one. That is a miss. She's misses. waiting for the crit. Learn <laughs> powers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's at random. Oh? Because he's got... Oh, flank. Oh. I put myself in a bad spot. Normal. That's a crit fail. <laughs> oh. I'll take that. It's for the better. Sad. We like it. It's a hundred. You rolled a hundred. No, you rolled ninety. <laughs> crit fail. Ninety minus... It's gonna be the same one that you got, I think. See, the moment you mishandle your weapon, causing minor damage. Oh, so it's just a miss. <laughs> yeah, his hand's a bit broken. Yeah. 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 He's he's yeah. no no <laughs> ball of flame <laughs> hand is <laughs> broken. <laughs> uh, that is a hit. Ah. Oh. Second attack. Is that a seven damage? All right. Elemental. I'll take it. Uh, this That's one fine. down here is going to move. Come at me, bro. It's got you hot head. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you do. He misses the first one. Uh, he hits the next one. He's not gonna. Oh, he's Fourteen damage. Uh, Valen, your turn. Oh, <laughs> no. Not <laughs> just... <laughs> Why is he so close to me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, it's uh, it's time to do the same thing again. Mama yep. <laughs> um, where is Thunder Wave? Cast it. We're just gonna cast it at first level, and it's gonna emanate from me. It'll only attack him. Damage normal. Fuck, he succeeds. All right. Well. Uh, I'm gonna go over here behind, like right here. Move there. So if he wants an attack of opportunity, he can have it. That's a miss. Yeah. Ooh. Lucky. Fire paw raises over and catches your robe. Uh, Sends you the hair. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty-five. You're surrounded. <laughs> yeah, just, there's nowhere to go, so I'm gonna go in the middle. Uh, I don't like you to you rotated to face everybody. <laughs> yeah, no, that wasn't that wasn't cool. Um, <laughs> damn, you guys are worth sixty-five thousand experience. Are they all looking at Valid? <laughs> yeah, probably. I've hit all three of them now. Most likely. <laughs> He's kind of oh, just pissed all of them off perpetually. <laughs> I set the tracker up so that it shows you shows what it's worth. Did you read stuff? Yeah. Fire elemental's about to gain six levels. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. I'm going. Inflict wounds. Okay. Necrotic damage. Whiskey for the biscuit. Just use a first level slot. Mm. 
attack at advantage. Mm-hmm. 23 to hit. 13 necrotic. Right. Fire reform back at you. 3 damage. Does it seem to affect it? It does. Excellent. And then... Da, um, <laughs> da, da. Yeah, that's that's all I got. All right. Uh, Ivor <sighs> is going to. He is going to bonus action disengage. Attack with cold steel. Trick on a cry still. Advantage. Mm-hmm. He is a hit. Sneak attack. Then he takes fire form. <clears throat> Six damage. All right. Ithanus, your turn. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to stab him again. Why not? Steady, steady. At advantage. Advantage. Your. Your. Oh, 26. Hit. Alrighty, damage number eight. Damage. Uh, back again. Thirteen. That's a hit. Awesome. Perfect. Lovely. Take nine. Oh, yeah. I got one more. Hold on. One. Hold on. Hold on. Got a twenty-five. Yeah. Damn. Nope. That's not what I want. Not what I want. There we go. Whoop. He He's dead. dead. I reform again. I kill him. I kill him. I kill him. The fire elemental. Going to just kind of dissipate and leave a charred ash on the ground. Good job, Elf. Well, I thank you. Do you have any movement for your character? <laughs> I do, I do, perhaps, but um, I'm gonna come over I'm here good. and and help yeah, and help good. Tim with his thing for next turn. Yeah, no, don't Tim. don't block it from block me from the other elemental. No, no, no. Let's let's go to Tim. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Did you want? Uh, did you want me no, to help? No, you're him? fine. <laughs> Well, oh, then leave me alone. I don't. I don't have many <laughs> options. <laughs> no, you do not, sir. No, you do not. That's why I didn't put myself between the two of you. Don't worry, Sam will protect you. <laughs> <laughs> like he, like he, legitimately needs my protecting. Uh, because this won't hurt me. I'm gonna cast. Oh, I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah. Fireball. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I store, baby. I used the fire breath from Ireland's armor or from Ithanus's armor. Uh. Yeah. The what now? Button. Button. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use. Can we tell you about the button on the back of the armor? A sacred flame. I have a what? I'm confused. Woo! He takes five damage from 2D again. Ouch. Could have been a better. Oh, don't press that button. Alright. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Alright. This guy is gonna rotate and he's gonna attack Ithanus. How? It's a hit. 
you take half damage because you have fire resistance. Because I'm cool like that. And again, that's a miss. Ha, dummy. You have cold and fire resistance. I do. Because um, I'm cool like that. Well, feel my pain. No, I choose not to. <laughs> Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah. Nuh-uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did it pop up? It did. I'm gonna click shield. Uh, oh, wait. I don't think that that locks it. We'll see, though. Oh, it's too late. It timed out. Do you want to use shields? Uh, it rolled an 18. I don't think that that blocks it. It does not block it. So, no shield. 11 fire damage. Ouch! Ouchies. Again. <laughs> I will use shield. It, it misses. misses. Your turn. All right. Well, uh, actually, I think I can hit both of these. So crazy. It takes so much time. Thunder Wave is, is taking some... I was putting in some work. I'm going to cast it at second level. Shield? Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Shield is a, yeah. Oh, wow. That's a cool feature of it. Yeah. yeah. Thunder wave. wave. They both fail, baby. Get the fuck off this dead oh. gun snake. <clears throat> Aggressive, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It hit me. I don't like it. It hurt a lot. It burned. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Takes 36 damage. Woo! Oh, sheesh. It's now 80 feet down the, the chasm. Yeah. Uh, and then the other one was also in the... You went dark, too. That's fucking yeah, hilarious. Yeah. That is cool. And this guy goes 10 feet up. Oh, cool. damage. They both failed. They both pulled an 8... Yes, sir. They both did. What are you? What are you gonna do? Do a little dance or just run away? Um, <laughs> well, I uh, I think about playing firefighter on them, but then I I think better of it and I just spit down the chasm. <laughs> oh, so spitting on him is better. Got it. He's fucking. I mean, them, them peeing on him, I think it is. <laughs> He hits, the, he hits the bottom of the chasm, which you couldn't see before, in like a puff of like fire and smoke. As his body comes back to form. I hate elementals. Elementals suck. See elementals ten times fast. Elementals. 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 So they're gone. No one is. Well, one is eighty feet down. Yeah. Both both of them should be, right? Uh, nope. The other one's uh, on the path. The path continues up. Yeah, further up ahead. Oh. They are. They're if he was seat. here... Well, I guess he would still stay on it, even if he ended up there, because he'd be right there. Sit him with my hammer. All right. Target, target. Yeah. Not a target. Whoa, how many off I missed? Just normal. Just normal. Funny is still a hit. Thirteen damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then I'll use One, my two, features. Strike. Divine strike. One. <laughs> and then I'm going to use a bonus action to do another strike. Or priest. Inventory. Jack. <laughs> damage. Nice. Not a 12. 12 damage. So that's uh, 26 damage in one turn. In turn. The elemental. Uh, you smack it twice with a warhammer. Its pieces are flying off of it. It looks near dead. It's barely keeping its elemental form together. 
uh, which is where Ivor can. He snickers and runs up the street a little bit. Mm -hmm. Takes a shot at it with his short. Still going with the bow, Ivor. Oh, he didn't kill this. <laughs> oh, but he gets sneak attack. <laughs> well, I guess we'll give you that one. Easy. All right. <laughs> so where is the last one? The last one's down <laughs> in a chasm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just the last one is down in the chasm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We don't so, have to fight. It. No, I think I'm uh, I think I'm gonna chill now. I'm sure I'm gonna move over here and I'm uh, I'm gonna relax. Oh, so you want to jump down to Chasm and go fight it? Okay, uh, no. No, I'm just gonna. I'm never mind. I'm staying right where I am. I'm kidding. I don't uh, want to jump into Chasm. That is the end of combat. That elemental does not not able to get back up. Yay! I uh. Whoa. Nice. I just kind of, kind of look at the big old burning <laughs> welt across my chest, and look up at Tim. Or they look at my chest, and then look at Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you want him to kill your empty buddy? You're fine. Uh, You're right. I'll be okay. See, I'm glad we he's got just, you. He's right. just fucking sobbing. <laughs> 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 Mm. Ten minutes on protection from you. Okay. So as you guys continue up the uh, the tail, um, you notice there is another couple of groupings of mushrooms, and radiant fungi. Mushrooms. Tempest, guide me. Sure. I can move. Oh, there is. Hold on. Click it. Just double click it once. I gotta go through setup now. <laughs> Each time you do that, I gotta go through setup. <laughs> Oh. Boop. I want to get at least one of these ones. Like, come on. Please, Tempest. Guide my efforts. Uh, and you guys walk up the trail again, the little ladies. Love that for us. Setting stuff up here. I'll get a marching order here. Make sure we don't step on any stakes, I were. Like so? <laughs> or you guys want to be switched around? No, this is good. I like it. Yep. My, nice tree, dude. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. So pretty out here. Yeah, you can use divine intervention once a week. Once a week? Yeah. Oh, if crap. your deity intervenes, you can't use this feature again for seven days. Otherwise, but you that can is use after level rack. 10, right? Yeah, that's 10th level. Yeah. What do I get at level 10? I'm oh. going to go look. We changed the scene. Ooh. Uh, at level 10, I'm fairly certain you get three attacks per attack. What? Yeah. So I become even double badass? Wait, that, may, that may be incorrect. That may be incorrect. Don't don't take my word for that. I don't. I'm going to go look. Sure. I'm going to go look and just hypothetically see what happens. Yeah. 
If that's correct and I get an extra attack, that's a lie. That's, that's, that's a lie. It's a lie? That's a lie, yeah. That's not what lie. you get. I'm horrible. <laughs> that's a fighter thing, not a ranger thing. I was going to um, say, are you a fighter? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a fighter. But... I'm finding it quite questionable, so I'm going to zip past it. Because it's boring. Because it's boring. Let's so, make another mushroom check. Look, a mushroom. <laughs> I'm going to get this one. Yeah, for some reason, I was like, I should make them fight a series of each Oh, right. Out. My D&D oh, Beyond seems to good. think that we're still at only <laughs> level 9. It's not even a good fight. Okay, wait. The next level we'll have is 10, yeah? Maybe. Maybe. How many XP points is... Please, Tempest. You got it! I got one! Ooh. Radiant fucking curves. Yay! Yes! Oh, yeah, ten. Ten. Oh, you just got one use of it. Okay. Yeah. There's another one here. Oh, I got another area t of a natural explorer. Is that all I get at level 10? Oh, I got another one. Yes. I'm on a roll. Oh, guys, at level 10, I think I'll get new two new spells. Trust the fungus. That you can use your spells. <laughs> I know. Sheesh. <laughs> I'll get two this new ones though. Characters we play. And you get them. to trade one spell that you know for a different one if you want to, I think, with the ranger. So uh, you have I'll, a... I'll... Uh -oh. before we get to the uh, as you are walking through what appears to be the tail kind of going down, it goes deeper. The recess that you're traveling on actually goes inside of the snake itself. Ivor, I told you not to let us step Soon. on any snakes. <laughs> Soon you will find yourself in the belly of the beast. And on your way through, you see a giant coastal crab guarding the hallway. Oh! I need Goes well with butter and garlic. Everybody to roll in I call him Pinchy. <laughs> Can we make it a pet? Not Mr. Krabs? <laughs> you can always play track. What are we doing? <laughs> mm. <laughs> initiative. Roll initiative. Oh, oh, this is where I excel. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> man. <What? laughs> oh, my God. Never have I seen such magnificence in my life. <laughs> wow. We I are. Think we might need salt, salt test Ben's dice. <laughs> hey, oh, hey wait. What about Ivor? Someone roll for Ivor. <laughs> Someone roll oh, for Ivor. Yeah. Just like, watch. I, I roll for Ivor too. Oh god damn it, why does he get the 14? Son of a bitch. His short bow at the crab. How dare he, he be good. He's gonna back the fuck up. That's okay, uh, then we can both go oh, below. <laughs> you guys see this giant crab? <laughs> Valen, your turn. Uh, it's gonna uh, use a legend and move. Oh. How scary. <laughs> I just love watching Whoa. you guys battle. Where did it's it like, move? It's a tear to my eye. <laughs> it didn't move. Ivor moved. No, it did. It moved. I uh, see it I now. It yeah, it moved right up to us. Up to All right. Uh -oh. Well, you are correct. There he is. I can almost lick it. I look at him like, You can oh, almost lick it. Why do you want to lick it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's towering overhead of you as like a 20 foot tall crab. Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna ray a frost his ass. Right. Ooh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Yep, sure. Damage. Normal. It's 11, 11 damage. And it is slowed by 10 feet. Yes, it Until the start of my next turn. And I am going to come back and say hello to uh, Ivor as I go and stand behind Ivor, like right there. Run away! Oh, awesome. 
It's still been less than 10 minutes, right? Um... Pretty close, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it wherever it is right now. Okay. It has a timer on it. Um Okay, so Infinite's your turn. Actually, not your turn. It's gonna use oh, what? legendary action what? crushing oh, surge. What the fuck? What the <laughs> it's your turn? No, it's not! What do you mean? That's not fair. <laughs> What the heck? I just got oh, dude. Yeah. I can't believe the DM just psyched you. Make, <laughs> you psyched a, me. A... I'm making a what? I'm asking for the protection from good and evil, but I will make a nature check. Okay, so it misses you, Ben. Okay. Golden eleven. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Was... Yeah, Not even okay. a one. Just a zero. It's a giant crab. It's a big crab. Yeah. Big yeah. Crab. <laughs> You've never seen a crab before. Whoa, I'm still staring. You're not an ocean. You're not an ocean. <laughs> oh, we have pincers. Finn, like Finn just hasn't just I realizes mean, he's never seen a crab off. before. This thing's really cool because it's like <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> they should call this a rock crab. Yeah. Okay, Ethan, it's your turn. Is it my turn? Is it Kyle? Yes. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. CR10, it says it right there. I can't what? believe you did that to me. Okay, it's anyways. Right. Anyways. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see. I mean, I don't see. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, wait. So, we, we uh, figured out with Zephyr Strike that my movement... Only increases by thir how did what did we figure out about Zephyr Strike that I had read wrong when again? You use, when you use the attack, the advantage on your attack roll is the only time you get the bonus movement speed. Okay, well I'm gonna cast it anyway just so I can have the uh, no opportunity attacks. Uh, mm. I'm going to cast that as my bonus. Thing and then I'm going to move up. I'm a slashy slashy him, and then I'm gonna move back because I don't want him to hit me with his big pincers. You're gonna use the advantage on your attack roll for the the local. Uh yes. All right. I'll use I'll I'll use it. Um wait. So it will give you advantage, and then it will deal yep. an extra one d eight force damage if you hit. Okay. And Fuck this you. turn, speed increases by thirty feet. Or just for this turn. Okay, so do you, like so you want me to use the you want me to if, use the advantage now? You can use it whenever you want, but if if you, you, you before the spell ends, so it lasts a minute, you can use it. It's like a charge up, basically like you cast a charge on yourself, and while you have the charge, you don't provoke attacks opportunity, and once during the minute long, you can discharge that charge. For a 1d8 force damage addition and advantage on an, on one attack. You know what? I'll, I'll just do it now. I'll do it now. I'll use the advantage now. May as well. All right. Go ahead and roll Get with it. advantage on your loco. That is. A crit. I got a crit. So you. So that means that you deal your damage should be uh, an additional your damage d8 from your long sword plus a 1d8 force damage. Um, How do I add in that uh, it's force again? Oh, so wait, no, I remember. Type, type in wait. 1d8, plus 1d8, and then uh, parentheses brackets, or not, no, regular brackets, the square ones. Yep. And then four. four. Got it. I think I got it. Then make sure you hit critical. I did not, but it's okay. What the fuck? I Did I not? What no, the didn't. F is wrong with me? What the F is wrong with me? What the fuck? No, That's what okay. is happening? Don't worry about it. it. I can oh. double it myself. Yeah. I freaking I did things I'm not supposed to do, and then I took damage from myself somehow? What is happening? I, I, revoked, I revoked it. I don't know what you did, but... You probably okay. pushed one of the buttons that show I off did. damage. Um, so I'm go ahead and get your... If you'll short sword attack, this one is not an advantage. Yeah, no. 15? 
That is a miss. Go ahead and All make right. your alive. With your locum? With regular? Uh, idiot. That's um, another crit. Oh my god, what the fuck? <clears throat> you don't have force on this one, so it'll just be regular yeah. critical damage. Alright, I'm team. done. There you I go. Just, and you're I gonna get rid of my dumbassery. You're gonna move back? Yes, I am. Because okay. other actually, wait, how far do I want to move? I'll move back like here. You have a lot. You use you have sixty movements because of Zephyr. Yeah. Yeah, I'll move, I'll move back here with these guys and Bastard, just don't eat that. I will beat your butt. Oh, I was like, are you talking to me? What? It's extremely confused for a good sec there, I'll be honest. Alright, anyway, my turn's over. Tim, have fun. Yeah. No. Okay. Not a crab gets to do things. Uh, does it? No. Tim. Tim gets oh. to It's Tim's turn. Oh, Remember yeah, yeah, never mind, Tim's good. Turn. Tim's turn. You'll get to Tim my turn and Tim's turn. Tim's turn. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shake her flame it. Yeah, just give it a sacred flame. Hey, trying for the dexterity base. It succeeds, unfortunately, on your DC 14. Yeah, oh, how rude of it. Do you have any movement? Uh, no, uh, I'll move. There. Uh, the crab is going to... <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. Really Don't say that. <laughs> I hate it when you say that. Uh, he's going to make a, an attack, a claw attack on you. With disadvantage? Well, I have protection from good and evil. Above that, I have no idea. I don't believe it falls into that. Uh, let me go back. They should have a search bar on this fucking chat yeah. talk. It definitely should. Aberrations, Celestials, <laughs> Bay, Elementals. Fiends and Undead. No, it is none of those. Bay, um, Bay or Fiend, yeah, no. Elemental. So it misses. But it is going to attack you again with the claw. I'm going to use my shield. Okay, go ahead. Or no, I've already used it. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the fire and all that. Uh, that is a miss. You have 21 armor right now? I Holy do. 22? Holy shit. It misses both of its claw attacks. Yes. Um. Crazy. I'm hard as fuck, boy. Uh, your turn, Fen. Oh, shit, eh? Yeah, it didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the stalwart dwarf, armored in plate mail and shield, was able to hold off and oppose the crushing, grasping claw, claws of this giant five-foot fucking claw spam grapple pincers. <clears throat> Level four and flip wounds. Deal it. Roll the hit. Oh, let's go. Big and flip wounds. Good luck. What do you say? Good luck. I'm gonna add 10. 22. 22 is a hit. Go ahead and deal damage. <clears throat> 40 <clears throat> necrotic damage. <clears throat> Oof. You grab onto its leg and <laughs> charge it with necrotic energy. One of its legs <laughs> cripples off and falls to the ground. Kind of staggers a little bit, trying to regain its balance with the missing claw, the missing um, leg. <laughs> and then... Uh... I'm gonna skip around behind it. Alright. Uh, it is going to look flowers. 
use its crushing surge as a legendary action, and it's going to attack you with its claw. It's a fucking miss. Good luck. <laughs> Man, they're they're tr trying. They're so, trying. Uh, Ivor is going to move up. So you can see the creature, and he's going to use his short bow to attack the creature with his edge. Like oh no, you can't flank with the hook. He's going to move up into the cold seal ring. Advantage, that is a hit. 11 damage, sneak attack. Wow. Okay, he's going to use bonus action disengage. Move up. Valen, your turn. Beautiful. Crab is actually going to use his movement for his legendary. Move over here. Oh. Um, is this supposed to be completely blacked off right here? Like this line right here? Uh, it's just the cover of the tree. Oh, oh yeah. It's the cover of the tree. Um, sorry, no, that's that's the uh, reverse proximity. Because the hill that you guys are on is so steep, you can't really uh, see Okay. Changing okay. is what it's supposed to do. So it's, it's kind of like rafting over top of it. Okay. 15. Okay, see, I see, I see. All right. So I'll move up 15 feet. And... Uh, <laughs> Look, this crab. <laughs> All right. I am going to. Fuck it. Why not? We're going to fireball his ass. Fireball. Eyes and praise. <laughs> <laughs> You're not. Oh, he succeeded. Dude, I did more damage with a ray of frost than a fireball. What is that? I rolled so many ones on yeah. that. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna move right back. He ain't killing me today. In turn, fireball goes off and posts his open leg. The sizzling of crab meat lures you. Wait, uh, I actually have one other thing. Never mind. It's a leveled spell. I can't do that. I lied. Uh, Ithanus and Nyathayane. Your turn. I'm off. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm gonna... One, two, three, four. Hit him hard. Hit him hard, yeah. Get him. I can't get up close enough to him at the, at the present moment, but I could... No, I bet you he has frickin' piercing resistance. You half your movement and then put your two swords away and pull your bow with your quick draw for your two weapon fighter. You are correct. I will do that. I'm just trying to help you out. I appreciate it. I was cons 26. I know. Yep. 26 is a hit. Go for it. He has 10 damage. Oh, oh interesting. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Longbow again. 11? Miss. Damn. All right. Oh, well, my turn's over again. Tim. Have fun, Tim. <laughs> Man, I love being a dwarf. <laughs> 22, 22 AC is like fucking high, man. Once you get to like 18, every point above 18 for AC is like a world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Creatures don't usually get higher. Than that. Yeah. That's from the feature I used, I believe. Uh, I'm just going to do the same as before. Let's see it some more, of course. Because my strength increased by two, I think. No, it doesn't oh. give me a. You should have you got plate. Uh, you got plate mail, which gives you eighteen. And my shield. Your spell give your shield gives you 20. constitution would change your uh, yes. AC, right? Constitution is not now. The only thing that does is dexterity, but not on plate mail. Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, how do you? Get? Did you know what happened? You actually don't have time. No. No. We remember when you you drank a potion or something. 
that gave you your 22 AC and you had to adjust it. So it's, um, it's on flat right now. It needs to be equipped. It's 20. Yeah. I just want to check to see if that grab it again. Yeah. Do it, do it. Yeah. Nope. That's you. Oh, no, it is. It's, yeah, it hits you. Okay. Uh, I will. Good call. Good call. Um, you take 45 damage in your problems. Well, that changes things. <clears throat> yes. You are now grappled in its pincers, which requires an action to get out of. And it's it's crabs turn. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. That's dangerous. Uh, I'm just looking through. It doesn't look like it. Oh, oh actually, it's, it's missed you twice. If that happened, can I uh, do mm -hmm. an extra thing? Can I cast Healing Word on Fen? I will allow. Um, Sorry, so Fen, it's just going to be a first there's, level. There's the oh, hit that so I just applied. I think he'd rather that than just nothing. No, oh, so you're at four health. Yeah, yeah, I could do it at six it looks like levels, but misses. that would just be just 2 d four. Most you could get from that would be 60,000. Yeah. I think it might be better to just save it. Yeah. Okay, he is going to. Uh, he is going to. Make a claw attack on you with mm -hmm. his other claw. At normal, 18 is a miss, and he can't make an attack with his other claw, but you are grappled. Uh, mm -hmm. He will move backwards with you. Uh-huh. Oh, no. It is your turn, Ben. Oh. I only get 25 out of that. Nope, nope, nope. I am going to look at this stupid crab who's still targeted. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what happened or why it does that now. But I didn't change it. It just does. I am going to hit him with another Inflict Wounds. All right. <clears throat> and I'm going to cast it at level four. Good. Cast spell. Tempest take you, bitch. I'm going to add 10, 19. It's a mess. Oh, it is? Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Ben's life is smashing before his I eyes. I don't know what I'm going to drive in there. <laughs> oh, Tempest smiles on me. Damage this foul beast with 35 necrotic damage. Right. It is still kicking. Oh, big crap. It's near dead, but it is still kicking as you discharge your your necrotic into its uh, into its other leg. It's pincer as it's trying to attack you. <laughs> the smell of rotting crab meat does not work. Excellent. Uh, sure. And that's <laughs> all I got. <sighs> I think you used the wrong feature. Oh no, that's right. Challenge board that's fine. Um, so legendary action is going to be now here. Ah. Usher the surge, so it gets to attack you because you are going. Good. So it becomes a plot. So it's a chance to miss. He misses. Ivor. Is that Ivor is going to charge forward? Then, like 75 damage in two attacks on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Uh, he crit fails. Yeah, he did. 
He tripped on his bow. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> you rolled a ninety-seven. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> ninety-seven minus eight is gonna be eighty. He must. Unexpected distraction causes you to lose focus momentarily. Outcome you miss and must spend a bonus action next turn to refocus. <clears throat> okay, so he missed two. Sure. Uh, Valen, um, the crab is going to use his move action. Legendary action. Okay. <sighs> Drags. Bend deeper and deeper down the serpent's tail. Deeper into the body of the serpent. I'm not liking this! <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how, like, hurt Ooh, this four thing, flowers. Like... It's supposed to be, it's supposed, Ooh, to supposed to be on the coast, so they grab you, and then they go in the water and yeah. down. <clears throat> but I thought it was really suiting down the coastal crab. Mm-hmm. Probably just got picked up when he was, like, going through the water. So. Right. <laughs> uh, and I'm assuming this is more hill here, so that's why I can't see this here. Mm-hmm. Yep, okay, that's so right. what is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's the 30. Alright, I'm gonna dash. Oh. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There. <laughs> a long way Still to go, can't man. see nothing. <laughs> yeah, ben! No! <laughs> um, I will. Valen's <laughs> dashing down towards you, so and he's da- he's like dashing, and he still can't see how so far he's taking you. Yeah, you no, know, you're so stinking oh. far. Um, the only one with a chance. It seems <laughs> they can't use his bonus. They can't use his bonus. That's it. That's all I can do. I can't do nothing else. Where's the beer? You get All right. Yeah. <laughs> we just have to hope that it keeps missing Fen and he can do more inflict wounds. Oh my god. One more. That's all it's going to take, Fen. One more. All right. He just burns. <laughs> slows the fucker down. Yeah. I actually did not see where he went. Away. <laughs> yeah. Yo, he went That's away. <laughs> Run towards Valen. You hear a screaming dwarf. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna move up and see if I can. <laughs> yeah, no, I. I'm just gonna end my. I, I moved up. That's all I did. Totally just an idea. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have fun with whatever the fuck you're gonna do. I'm gonna oh. melt that freaking claw off. That's how they <laughs> There was something I had planned, but I think I need to be able to see them. Uh... <laughs> I need. Doesn't specify. I imagine that I do need to. Oh, because it's not saying the actual spell. What is it? Ah, uh, magic missile. I'd need to see with, right? Yeah, you need to be able to see each other. Okay. You can hit it regardless of AC, but... I will dash, I suppose. Go after him. Oh, I still can't see because of the hill. I have to actually get past that specific part before I can see and hear the sounds. Oh, well, it's the crab's turn. Fucking thing! <laughs> Fuck you! I'm gonna fucking eat you! Where's my butter? Where's my gun? Dude, if we don't get to eat him after, I'm gonna be very upset. Well, we will eat it. Some of his body's been necrosis. <laughs> Most of his yeah. body's been necrosis. <laughs> What right, the is, fuck? Attacks Ben with his claw, his free claw. 
That's a hit. <sighs> Yeah. Fuck that. Unconscious. Unconscious. No. Yeah. It begins to eat you. Mm. Oh no, he's gonna be digested. Then roll for me, please. Uh, oh, uh, da. Um. Come on, baby. Nope. It is a fail. It's going to use Crushing Surge. Uh, which is a hit, which is two. Uh, or, it still has to roll a hit, does it? Does it roll a hit? Or not? Uh, How does it work with unconscious creatures? I'm not sure what the. Uh, where the... Or, <laughs> well, actually, we use the uh, these rules. So you drop whatever you're holding, so you drop your work. Okay. Your shield does not drop because it's strapped to you, but Warhammer does. Your attack rolls have advantage, an attack that hits a creature is a critical. Okay, so we'll attack you. You have 20 AC. It is a 20. Mm. That is a crit, so that's two fails. You have died. Okay. Ivor's turn. He runs up 40 feet. You can see he uses his bonus action to clear his eyes, and he will attack the creature with a short bow. He's going to use... Dead, 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 dead. Ah, I don't want to use his action. That needs to be resurrected. That is a hit. Two damage. Valen, it is your turn. The... Creature is going to make his move, and he's going to move the sleeper. No. All right. Well, um, I am going to third cast. <laughs> I'm gonna third. cast fly on myself. No second. It is the second. Yeah. Okay. I was conscious for the worm for the remora inside its belly. Oh my God! Were you? I think so. Oh yeah, because he came out saying something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but then is this also your second time being eaten? Yeah, for yeah. much. <laughs> like he's not he's not devoured no. yet, but he's he's nibbling. He's doing the crafting stage. Foaming at the mouth. I have nothing to do with my bonus action at all. But I see Finn. Finn's being eaten. Just over the hill. Uh, and I cast fly on myself and go my full 60 feet of fly. Uh, that's that's it. That's all I got. It is. For our only hope. Already. No. You have another Zephyr strike? I still have that... Do I not have that going still? It doesn't you do, give but... you any bonus to movement speed once you use the uh, charge. Yeah, True. so you wouldn't have extra move speed and you wouldn't have the advantage. You'd just have the disengage from the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I could I could cast it again. Could, but I don't. Uh, the dwarf's silence up ahead in the distance makes you believe that uh, he's dying. <laughs> and Valen Thanks. has already said, "Why?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've moved up thirty. Can I? Can I dash to get up there? Are you casting Zephyr Strike or no? Mm, I think... I don't think mm. so. Okay. Uh, you can dash, but if you dash, you can't attack. Yeah, That's fine. Unless okay. you use Go ahead. Sir. How much? I can dash how much? Double your movement seat, so 30. Uh, what the fuck is going on? 25, 30. Let's see, where am I? <laughs> oh, I can see now. Yay. Alright, well, on my next turn, 
Okay. Well, uh, Tim. Who is that? Yep. I'm the last hope. What do we got? I have 30 movement speed. I'm actually really surprised that he lasted that many attacks from that thing right away. Yo, he did it though. He is it's that dwarven yeah. resilience. He made that crab look like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, he did. It's on a CR CR ten. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna it it says I'm using one charge of seven. I'm gonna use all seven charges. Okay. Because I don't know how to Do you wanna just do it all at once for on the attack roll? Yeah. That should be one D plus. It's nine, right? So, yeah. is it... Seven uh, Increase the spell slot level by yeah. one. So it's... It's gonna be nine... Nine... Six? Nine... Four. Nine... Four. Plus... Nine. Oh, oh yeah, I was wrong. Ninety-four plus nine. Yeah. So... into the situational bonus yeah you would put uh so or you would formula put, uh 8d4 8d4 yeah 8d4 all right 45 damage dramatic Pause? Uh, for some reason it took damage. <laughs> mm. Why is it damage. Oh, that's to, to hit. Oh, well that... It didn't, you didn't roll the damage portion. That should have been the damage because it doesn't have a to hit. It's just supposed to automatically hit. Is it not the spell that you would cast from your... I cast Wand of Magic Missiles. Yeah, I think that just... That means that you're attacking with it. In melee. Oh right. So you need That's... to roll the okay. magic portion of it. I don't know if it's if it's built in or not, but you okay. just use your magic missile. If you I, have don't, it. I don't have one, so I'll go into let's see if I uh it might be in my spell book because of the magic missile wand. No. I'll I'll, I'll help you with that. So okay. Magic missile. Um uh. We'll add this seventh level oh, Ross. I'm going to change that. So we'll call this uh, wand of missiles. Wand. Uh, and there you go. That should work now for you. You just need to minus, um, should be in your, your spell list where the SOH is, but it's in the yeah. wand. I see. Missile, it. Level one. So then that one. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then it should be damage only. Okay. <laughs> so like that. Don't consume spell slots. Don't consume spell slots? No. Oh, I already did, but oh well. Fix that. that. Uh, and so. Formula. Default. Um, I'll just do it the same way I did before of the 8d4 plus. Eight fours or four plus eight. Yeah, like that should be a target, right? but I will uh oh. qualify. Boom, he is dead. No way, nice. Oh, Let's go. Dude. Left, actually. And let me roll the d20 for the wand. Yes. <laughs> okay, it, it lives. Yay! So you, you run up there Found it. with your wand of magic missiles and <laughs> discharge all of it. <laughs> all these magic missiles sail and help the crab is just like, no, I know this. Worth trying to run back into the bottom of the pit. Um, and he gets hit so many times, <laughs> falls down, his legs break claws come apart and the meat kind of festers out of him uh, and the dwarf lays on the ground <laughs> I'm gonna go up to Fen now all right oh, I don't know if you want Fen's having a dream that Tor is yeah, coming there we go. food again 
go up the fen and cast Revivify. Hey. Holy. Yeah. Ample time. Yeah. I should have two uh, spells worth of diamond dust for it. So I still have a thousand. Minus minus three hundred from your pile. Yeah. (laughs) What's that condition? Frozen? I don't want to know. What is it? Oh, it was frozen. Did did I don't know? All those popped up when I went unconscious. (laughs) Ooh, look, a mushroom. Uh, you are you come to consciousness with one health or six health, I guess. You have something. <laughs> yeah, six health. Um, yeah, peeling yourself from the cold embrace of the dead crab. Whoa, <laughs> that was intense. <laughs> no, how, how did you get six health from that? Yeah, because it should be one health. Should be one. Okay. I shall change it. Oh no. Excuse me. You know, guys, I think I just need to sit down and try to pick a mushroom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Oh, man, it's been a long day. <laughs> um, Shanti guide you. Shanti guide you. Yeah. Tempest game. Uh, you pick up a magic mushroom. Magic one. Liberty cap? That's a potent psilocybe? It's a flag. Who? Uh, I've seen those in a book somewhere, I think. Um, okay. So, you guys find yourself at the entrance of what appears to be the snake's body orifice. Yay. <laughs> Third time. The massive hills on the sides of you are its, the rest of its body that precedes its reaction. Width of itself as the tunnel goes deep down inside of this. <laughs> He said before this. <laughs> Proceeding Twice. forward, unless there are any uh, anything you guys like to do. Um, yeah, oh, I kind of like come up onto the path. I'm like, all right, um, what's next? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta respect that resilience. I, I tell you what. Um, but what could be next is some. Absolutely decadent crab claws. You wouldn't mind pitching one of those tents, would you? <laughs> yeah, I, I can I can do that. Uh, but I, I need you to work on hacking off one of those crab claws, and we'll uh, we'll put it over a fire. Sitter done. I pull out my dagger and I stumble over to the crab. <laughs> I look for some, some of the. the uh, some of the meat from the side that I didn't discharge necrotic energy into. There's plenty of legs to choose from. <laughs> yeah. You have yeah. off some seven foot long crab legs. Get them stacked over a fire. It's a good bushel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drink up the fire and begin roasting. Uh, Ty had his place over you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all gather around. Are you taking a short rest or a long rest? Um, either or. I maxed out my, uh, my higher channeling. Uh, we, uh, we did, we did get abruptly cast off of the ship and, uh, cast onto this thing's back. We have been traveling. Mayhaps we call it a, call it a day. I can tuck in for a while. <laughs> I'm gonna remove this uh, protection thing. Which one? From good and evil? It's oh. still up. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, does feel like a dangerous area. Correct. We're on the basically. back of a serpent. I don't. I don't think that there's going to be a safe area. Corrupted world, sir. Short rest is fine. Okay. How long does flight last? Ten minutes? Uh, yep, it's ten minutes. Okay. Fly is gone. You guys are able to rest for an hour without any hindrances. What uh what what's up with that uh what's up with that rod, Mr. Tim? How's it looking? <sighs> The broad? Yeah. We're just short resting, though. It's okay. Yep. I don't, I don't know what rod you mean. The, uh, is it not a rod? Is it a staff? The long rest rod staff item thing? The hourglass? Oh, it's an hourglass. Yeah. Um... That's for long rests, yeah. Yeah, it's D three days or something, or D four days before it, it takes three days to recharge fully, um, and it has to be fully recharged to use. To use it's, it. Yeah, it's only got one charge on it right now, so we need, it takes okay. another two days. Okay, okay. Which it's been a few days, but almost two. It's been a day and a bit, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Um, what was... Yeah, seven hit die is good for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Spent some time trying to get some of the bends and kinks out of my armor. <laughs> I think my plate might need some work after this. <laughs> A few crutches on there, eh? You guys save me any crab? Are you guys taking some of the meat? Yeah. Yeah. I'll eat a piece of it. Raw? No. Cooked it. It was cooked over a fire, yeah. It takes all of ten seconds to place it close to a fire to cook crab meat. Not as good as boiling it, but, you know. Do you have any butter and garlic? I got some salt. You don't need anything more. Okay, who wants to carry it? Oh, I just wanted to eat a piece of it. Oh, you don't want to take the meat with no. me? No. Take, uh, take 10 pounds of crab meat with me. Okay. Can I just do that as rations, or should I? No, I got some. Okay. Ah, strange meat. 
10 of those, and we will do a date made. It'll last for two days. So, <laughs> the date it was made is wait, 14013, uh, And I'll eat some too now. Sure. Like we stopped by the noise. <laughs> Welcome to the world. It's just getting started. It's all these things on Ivor. Yeah, I was. I think they've been there since like the start of the session. Motivation. Okay, I thought they might have to do with being. Goggles and night and bring protection. Who's that goggles and night too? That's right. He can finally see. None of us need a torch anymore. That would have been 120 feet down there. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's better to have a it and not need a torch all the time. Mm -hmm. Always relying on his cool ball to light the way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, stop a motorbike. Oh, yeah. Okay. As you guys <clears throat> travel deeper into the belly of the beast, he winds down a narrow corridor about 10 feet wide. You traverse through several uh, long corridors winding back and forth until you get to a large structure with a Massive stone door. On this, on the stone door is a large pulsating crystal, which appears to be glowing with dark energy. Can I use my stone cutting to find out the nature of the mechanism with the crystal? Sure. <clears throat> Kind of check is that? History. For investigation. I like history. Tempest guide me. 16. The crystal on the door seems to be reverberating. And the closer you get to it with the harp of dissonance. You notice that there's a palpable change in the effect of sound waves emanating from it. Hmm. It seems to resonate to the heart. Maybe it's worth uh, playing it a little too. Um. Could I do a like a arcana investigation on that very theory that Finn, Finn just brought up. Sure. Perfect. Oh, sheesh. I crit. Yeah. Oh, that's a 28. Nice. Um, that is exactly what you theorize. Okay. So, Tim, I do believe that you need to play your little heart out on the strings accord harp instrument. Performance check. I'm going to pull out the na this nasty little ditty. <laughs> 17. Nice, nice. Uh, 
you strum a couple of notes from the harp of dissonance and a wave of energy pulsates from each of the chords inside of the harp of dissonance and it spirals out towards the uh, crystal and when it intersects the crystal shines brightly uh, and begins to um, pulsate and then it cracks and falls away revealing an, a doorway through into a place. <laughs> oh no. A place. Not a place. A place. Oh no, what's with all the chickens? <laughs> Whoa. It's an even bigger crystal. Holy fucking shit. That's a... That's a big one. No pun intended. Oh, <laughs> Sir. <laughs> As you enter no pun the room, intended. are drawn to the large crystal in the center, surrounded by smaller crystals, each pulsating with chaotic energy. A formidable crystalline defender stands guard in the center. Form shimmering and shifting. The harp of dissonance you carry seems to thrum with potential. I say I give it another go. Um, you strum the crystal, but it appears as, or you strum, strum the harp of dissonance, but it appears the crystals around the major crystal are causing some sort of disturbance in the sound. Can't quite make it. It appears though you might have to get closer to the center. Mm -hmm. However, as you approach, you notice that some of the crystals are actually linked together in um, separate pulses, but like big circles that go around. All the crystals on the outer side are linked together in energy, and all the crystals in the middle are linked all the crystals in the center are like in a circle of that. It's like they're making a circuit. Mm. <laughs> the... Hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to break the sound quite yet. So, what would you like to do? Do I notice any of the architecture? Is there any frescoes on the walls or? <laughs> uh, the lightings and the uh, rooms on the walls are all of a language in which you do not understand. All you can tell is that the crystals are harmonized together in circles, centric circles, and the crystal in the middle is far beyond your reach to affect it due to the destabilization of the other crystals. But the crystals in the circles are harmonized to each other, but they're, they're not harmonized in the same frequency as the well, center crystal. So, <clears throat> We have to get them all harmonized. <clears throat> um, Valen, with your roll of the 27, investigating with the Arcana, um, you note that you might be able to interact with these crystals on some level. Oh. What might I be able to... To, to do with these interactions. I um, see that... Is, is it supposed to appear as though it's cracking? Yes. Do I discern if busting it is a good thing or a bad thing? Um, you could assume that the crystal is failing because it's becoming corrupted. 
I'm, yeah, I imagine it's a bad thing. I th yeah, I, I, mean, think I, I, I thought so, but... Yeah. I think what we have to do is harmonize all the smaller crystals together. Wrong. That's just a guess from a kobold. Yes. Not a bad one. So... <laughs> One of the more intelligent. Hmm. A couple that knows the words indubitably. <laughs> indubitably, yes. Indubitably. What? Uh, hmm. So if I walk and up closer so to the uh, oh. to the crystals, um, what type of what type of warding is it that I'm seeing that's making like these pulsating? The the pulsating wards. What are what are they? You approach the uh, what appears to be wards on crystals. Um, as you get closer, I'm going to need you to make an arcana check. Perfect. I can do so. <laughs> you can apply guidance if you want. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say, can uh, say a prayer <laughs> to Tempest for me. You got it there, boy. Is anybody else moving up? Yeah, I'll move up. I will too. Yeah. What? What did I do? Uh, uh 25. I see. Woo! Um, it appears as though if you succeed at the arcana check, you might be able to manipulate the stream of energy that's harmonized and possibly merge with the energy and teleport oh. to the other crystal that's harmonized. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh huh. This can also be accomplished by using the harp of distance uh, with a performance check. Um, so either successful arcana check if you're proficient with arcana or the use of the harp of business okay yeah. I would like to make an arcana check do, is, do, can, I, can I tell if uh, there is a order in which it needs to be done uh, no it just seems like um, something that you can do at will Okay, that was that was my main concern. So, I would like to uh, go ahead and use my Arcana expertise to uh, God, it's be with you. try to try to uh, correct the the runage. Uh, okay, so you step onto the platform and yes. you touch. Make an Arcana check. No quick save option, unforge. <laughs> well, we do have Don't a forget your one d four. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, another twenty five. Which nice. crystal would you like to teleport? All of them. Um, talking about these crystals here. We got that one, that one, that one. So and the one. crystals are linked in centric circles. So those four crystals in the center are linked. The four crystals in the middle are linked. And the four crystal, four crystal, or six crystals on the, the four crystals on the back side. Okay, I would like to go to this. Hey one. Kyle, can I be friends with everybody again? You want to move up? Yeah. Thank Which you. This one, this one here. I, you can only go to this one, or this one. Oh, 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 oh! I see. Okay, okay, yeah. So. We will. Oh, I don't want to go to the bottom of those steps. Nope. So we'll we'll move to this one over here. You uh, merge with the crystal's energy and are instantly teleported to the other side of the room. Requires a bonus action. Uh, yeah. 
closer to the center of the crystal, the big center crystal, you realize that there, um, now that you've kind of passed the threshold of the circle of the middle crystals, it's easier to feel the connection <laughs> to the major crystal. It's easier to feel the what, I'm sorry? Feel the, the connection to the major crystal. It strikes you that perhaps the harp of dissonance can be used uh, closer to the um, main crystal where there isn't as much disturbance. Okay. I will relay that and say um, get as close to the main crystal as you can and pluck the harp again. You got her, Connor. So I'm going to move up and uh, use the heart to travel closer to the main crystal. Okay. Uh, unless anybody else feels they have a better charisma. Uh, <laughs> so, so you can walk through the beams of energy? Oh. Yeah, no okay. problem. Um, you cannot move I... in the circles, Mine. but you can move around the circles. Yes. So when you when you uh, connect to this crystal, you can, I as a bonus I action, teleport to any of the connections that are, that are attached to that crystal. Same with this one. You can connect to all the other crystals in the center. Oh, do you have a minus one in charisma? That's oh, I definitely do. So, like, if you go... <laughs> you go and you perform a successful on this one mm -hmm. with a bonus action, you can teleport and see this. Yeah. So the outer corner ones, you can teleport to the outer corner ones. Yes. The kind of like more middle ones, you can teleport to the middle ones. And then the inner yeah. four, you can the inner four. Yes. Yeah. And you can walk through the harmonized energy, no problem. There's no... There's nothing stopping you physically as you touch it. Um, it's not dangerous. I'll go move and go to the same one that Valen's at, I guess. Are you going to attempt to teleport there or walk? Teleport. Performance check, please. <laughs> Tempest guide me. Oh right, no. That is unsuccessful, unfortunately. Uh -huh. And as you engage with the crystal itself, a strange emanating comes from your failure Ooh. and circles around the room. Just then, the center crystal seems to react to your presence. Oh. And a large oh. crystal golem and elemental pour from the crystal as defenders. <sighs> um. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good at all. That's yeah, terrifying. No. Oh my. Would yeah. would I be safe in assuming, to the best of my knowledge, with what I have studied of this, yeah. if we repair the crystal, the crystalline defenders wouldn't would would they still be on attack mode? You are uncertain. Do you want to give me the harp and I'll try to yeah. go right up to the crystal and... I give Tim the harp and cast protection from good and evil on him and myself while I do that. Uh, you will need to roll initiative first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll have to wait till the first turn's over for yeah, a while. Yeah, roll initiative! Yay, love yeah, this. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Oh my god, please. what the fuck? Guys, it's like the snowman from frickin' Frozen. It's like the Iceman from frickin' Frozen. That's what that reminds me of. Does nobody know what I'm doing? Yeah. Oh. Boom. Then Why have I been nice. stuck in this order the entire session? 
I walk over to Chad and fight a feet. I'm gonna give him the heart. Yeah, give this. And then I'm going to target him and me with a spell. With that spell. And okay. cast. Yeah. I was gonna say, okay, Chad, good luck. <laughs> Bye. 10, 15, 20, 25? Uh, back one. Oh, yeah. Five. Here. I think instead of playing the harp to get closer, I'm just gonna run over to it the is. crystal. Your turn. Yeah. Um. So the living giant construct is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him and see what happens. So I'm gonna go a boop. How's a 15? <laughs> that is a miss. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try again. That's a 23. Uh, that's a hit. Okay. However, Why did I take away my damage buttons? This doesn't make. This is so arbitrary. It doesn't make any sense. Damn um, you! Not sure. Uh, but you, when you strike the construct, your hit damages it, uh, but a, a reactionary shield appears and starts pulsating around it. So the damage doesn't even matter. Is what you're no, saying? it does damage. Okay, hold on. It looks like it got stronger. So... Oh. Yeah, it's gonna do the dumb thing where it won't let me do the damage. It's gonna make me re-roll my roll again. What the hell? This is dumb. <sighs> One sec. It's a D8 plus four, so I'm just gonna roll a D8 and add four to it. All right, it's eight damage. There we go. Yeah. That's dumb. You take eight. Eight. No, he you don't eat. Oh, it doesn't look very effective. Bitch. Well, he could. Oh, Tim, your turn. Well, of course. <laughs> oh, that's not <laughs> bad. I don't like him. Welcome I don't like to him. the Coliseum. Oh. Thanks. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Here. So, if I were to warp to that one by the bottom of the stairs, would that be closer than the one over here to the big crystal? Um, you could move up, so what you'd have to do is you'd have to move 5, 10, 15 feet, use your bonus action, and then you could teleport to the, uh, the bottom side of this, and then move, uh, 5, 10, 15, you could move to, like, here, which would be closer, but further away from the bone. Yeah, that's, I think I'm gonna try to do that. So go ahead and move up 15 feet onto the pedestal where you can uh, touch 15, the 15. The so right there. Pedestal, and then please provide a perform. Oh, actually, I'll request it. Okay. Check. Uh, is guidance action? Yeah. Okay. I'll just. Can I cast Guidance on myself? As an action. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Shantae Gun. And 1d4. Woo! Easy. All right. Okay. You teleport. Yeah, right to the bottom of that top one. Then five. And 15? Yep. Right there. And next turn. 
Val, it's your turn. The same. Oh. All right. Um, and I determined that my Arcana checks are not doing anything. We need the harp to mend this crystal, correct? Yes, you do. But you can use your Arcana to teleport within the harmonies. As a bonus action. As a bonus action. Yeah. I don't need a full. To the, to where it flares out? Yeah. I will, for the sake of, of, and Tim is the one making the performance checks, right? Yes, he has the heart. Whoever has the heart has the I will um, cast greater invisibility on Tim. So, uh, bonus action, I'll use it to teleport here. What's the other So, go ahead and make an arcana check, or actually test it. Brought it to get drank. And get drunk. <laughs> drunk and uh, skill quest. Go ahead. Fifteen. All right, you are teleported. Right. Um, okay. And then I will target Tim and cast. Greater invisibility, so he will stay invisible even while ca- using his harp, just to make sure That's the big guy doesn't come and mess what a with. Good, him. Sick. What a good play. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that is that is my turn. It's beautiful. It doesn't mean he can't attack you though. Yeah, no, it doesn't. If he senses that you're there, he can still attack you. Or if he uses an AOE attack and I'm in the area. (laughs) But he does have to be able to sense you. So I would stealth. Yeah, we'll see if I can (laughs) do that. I think he's trying to tell you he's very strong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sad Elemental's turn. Sad. Oh. He is going to use his action. Uh, crystalline teleporting. And then he is going to teleport right here. Near. No. Just physically manifests in front of you guys. Oh, oh, mama. No. The water elemental's turn. Can't wait to firm to like one one. hit everybody. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see Nuh-uh. That's why I didn't just run up while that and the Guardian was there, right? There were two... Two guys there. Oh, no. And it is going to seep into the floor. Oh. My. Continue to move towards you guys to see the water rushing. Through the gaps of the floor. <laughs> I restrain. He is going to. Oh, he didn't heal. Oh, he didn't heal? Oh, oh no. Uh, I'm just going to roll his, his dice here. Just going to fix that really quick. Yeah. Because he almost certainly would have healed. He is going to move 40 feet away, and then he's going to shoot with his bow. Shoot! Shoot, baby. Shoot, baby. Oh, he's going to use, um, he's going to use his arrows. plus one arrows. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to opt to do that. Plus one. Plus one arrow. Short bow. Changing equipment. He's only got 10 arrows left. 13 plus ones. When everybody was stocking up in, on arrows in that thieves den? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not advantage for normal. That is a hit! 24! Wow, big! Sneak attack! Oh my god. Oh god. Armageddon. 
get superior. He did. I don't, I don't know if that's good or not. So that doesn't. No. Uh, oh, it's plus one. How did that not work? That was a fucking crowd. <sighs> yeah. I had a level four spell right now. <laughs> Spirit Guardians! Yeah, it's not gonna help. <laughs> Just so a little bit. Work. So maybe damage there and then uh <laughs> for some reason, even though he's got plus one magical arrows, it's taking this non-magical star bows damage resistant. Nah. So, Mm. <laughs> uh, Finn, your turn. Oh, I'm gonna look at this thing, reach in my freaking pocket, and I'm gonna drink a potion of speed. Okay. Targeting myself, right? Where'd Tim go? I can't even see Tim. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm all the way up. Near the top. Now I'm up to 22 AC. I'm also in the holes. Nice. That should <laughs> bump my AC up to. I gotta so change that manually. Yeah. That's why I'm just trying. Yeah. So I'll do it for you. Thank you. And then we just have to remember to take that down again. And then I get another action? Um. Yeah. 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 So I'm gonna shuffle down here. Okay. I'm gonna hit this guy with my hammer. Is it edge? Oh. Hammer time! Oh. Do, 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 do. Hammer time! It's not targeting. That sounds awfully similar to the religion song. No, 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 no. They're different. The religion song is way longer. All I said was hammer time, and that's it. They're different. Yeah. It's not. Well, I got it now. I had to drop my character. Uh... Well, what's going on? Uh, discard previous. Okay, all right. Okay. Roll it. That's a hit. It uses its temporary effect, crystal shield. As a reaction. Okay. Damn him. And then I'm use my feature for divine strike. Okay. It's another eight. Yeah. Nice. And then I'm gonna use my bonus action. Okay. For an extra strike. Right. War priest. An advantage. Come That's on, crit. crit. Yes! Yes! I needed that. Very crit. nice. One. Yeah, I'll take the crit. <gasps> Heck Critical. yeah! Oh. Well, well. Take six damage. I do? You, as soon as you impact the crystal, now that it has that electric magnetic fucking thing on it, it reverberates through your whole body. You take six three. damage. After that, I said you feel irradiant damage. And then that sets off a feature because I rolled a crit. Oh, yeah. Moment of battle. Moment of battle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move down here. And then I'm going to oh, hang on. So I move five, ah, 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 ah. ten. I'm gonna ah, take ah, an attack of opportunity. Are you a slam? Disadvantage, because I'm protection from elementals. 
Oh yeah, the protection from good and evil on both me and him. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not. It's an AOE attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's base attacks are AOEs. Oh no. Uh, an attack of opportunity is an AOE. It's his base attack. Oh. That's not nice. So it should. It shouldn't be it. It. You have to make a save. Why does it not do that? <clears throat> Hold on a second. Let me cancel that. Oh no, it's it's still a target. But it does come with the same. Um, and it's a radius. Oh, yeah. For that. Yes, okay, that's what I did. I have a uh, bad note. So let's see here. Slam. Place on your chip plate. That's the effect of the radius. And then attack with disadvantage. Uh, 11 is a miss. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move Go over to, to here. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, because you have like... 60, 60 movement. 50 yeah. <laughs> so 5, 10... Right here. Oh yeah, I got the measuring on. Oops. Oh, I think your, your one space too far. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, okay, you're right. Nice. Okay. Sorry that took so long. No worries. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's okay. I forgot what I did with his attacks, but I wanted to make So he has an attack. Attack is normal, but he also causes a slam in the vicinity, which is reflex save. Oh. I think I took that potion of speed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, wow. I really All wish right. I bought a potion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my swords out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna slash at him and see. Okay. Just keep testing stuff. Tough, normal. How's a 15? Uh, 15 is a miss. Alright, I'm gonna try again. Yeah. It's gonna have high ice. 27! 27 is a hit. Let's go. He takes 7 damage. I attack again. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. I'll roll a d100. <laughs> oh, you crit failed. Forty-three. Yeah, those dice are sick, though. Yeah, that's cool. What? I can't see my dice anymore. Oh. I don't see my dice when they roll anymore. I haven't for a very long time. So I hope you guys think they're cool because I don't know it. what they look like. Uh, did she hit it with damage? Yeah. Um. Yes, because crystal shield is still up. You take. Three points of damage. Here's some damage. What? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, what kind of damage? Because if it's cold, I don't. I don't take all of it. I take how much, you said? Half of your attack, so it's three points. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie doke, my turn's over. Tim, have fun. 
Damn. Actually, oh fuck, I was gonna move. I don't know, it would've been an attack of opportunity. Never mind. Sorry, he's already used his reaction. He's already used his reaction. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my Zephyr Strike yeah. is probably over by now. Attack of opportunity. Yeah. Oh. Attack you. Okay. Because the uh, crystalline shield is a reaction. Oh. Constantly. Yep. He's all. Alrighty, what they're, Tim, enjoy your turn. What, they're, what they were saying was that he's already used his reaction, so you could move without him being able to attack off. Oh, okay, well then, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. gonna move. I'm definitely gonna move. So, uh, just, hey. like, I just wanna move right next to the back here. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Um... <laughs> Sneak over to the crystal as close as I can get to the crystal. Hey, you can you can kind of move into the crystal. You have to get to uh, here. I have to get to yeah. there. Yeah. Right here. Ah. I'll put a marker down. So, closest I can move is right there. Without dashing, and I'm not gonna dash because I want to sneak. Oh, if I'm sneaking, do I move half movement speed? Yeah. Yes. Ah, so the closest I could go is there. Can I dash while sneaking? No. No. Okay. So yeah. Oh, if I was a rogue, I might be able to, right? I Barbarian dash is a bonus I said, action. I said dashing is not something that I need. At all. Okay. So I'm gonna move. I'm not sure. I don't. I, I'm there. not sure if there's actually a rule for it, but it just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna roll. Yeah, Stealth. And it's. <laughs> Dude, that like, oh, it didn't work. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still at disadvantage even with invisibility. Invisibility doesn't change. Uh, doesn't I give don't me. No, actually. What does invisibility give you verbatim? Uh, what what does invisibility give you? What do you mean? Does it give you advantage on stealth checks? Yes, it does. Oh, there you go. So, you have, you so have just a normal roll. roll. Yeah. Okay. Ah, still not great. Still not bad. <laughs> yeah, but... Can the crystal guardy... Can, can, <laughs> the, can the... Elemental construct. No. Got her a couple of worm hits if I didn't hear that. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on too, so that reduces yeah. the passive. Well, I think that's as much as I can do, basically. Okay. I mean, I have actions and bonus actions still, I think, but I don't believe if there's anything I can do. I mean, I could cast the Zone of Silence, but I don't know if that would at all. And that would get in the way later. That turn. Yeah, turn. <coughs> Dad, Dad. Dad, Dad. Good that one. Uh, I don't know where Tim is, so <laughs> he's invisible. I think um, that I will right. bonus action. Let's see, where is if I go to there? It's 85 feet. What's the distance on? Magic missile. I think it's 100 feet, so I think we're good. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's 120 feet. Can I hit him from where I'm at? That's way too far, right? Yeah, it's yes. too far. So I am going to bonus action over to here with the Arcana check, right? Wait, let me uh, request. Oh, um, okay. I'll wait for the request. <laughs> All right, crit that jewel, nope. and then we're gonna magic missile his ass. Um, he knows it. 
Look at this guy just whip popping around. Magic missile, second level. Make sure he's targeted. Dang it. Damn. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Damage. It's gonna be. Plus <laughs> three. D four plus three. You ran. <laughs> you ran away. I do yeah. ten force damage. Those were really poopy D four rolls, but he takes it. Thank you. Um. And that's gonna be it. That's it. Alright. The crystal golem, the elemental construct golem, walks up, plants his fists down on the ground, and starts pulsing. And he. Oh, I need Ivor, Fed, and Ithidus to roll constitution saves. Here. Uh, it is a... It's not a spell. No. Oh, that's not... <laughs> 14? That was a 10. Oh Those god damn it! Fails. Oh, it's, is it? Oh, it's Constitution. Yeah. yeah. So that is thirty-one radiant damage, and um, <clears throat> it also disrupts magical effects for one round. So none of your magic items function. Well, so the, till the end of his next. That sucks. <laughs> That's really bad. Yep. Do they like? Yeah. Can you use them as a normal weapon? <laughs> yes. And the, okay, so but just the magic aspects. Form. And all of your magic, like rings of protection, all that stuff. Yeah. He's a null. It's null. Yeah. For it's one round. round. For till the end of this next round. Yeah. Next yeah. Round. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your uh, warhammer is just a hammer now. Well, it still gave everybody advantage for one turn. Yeah, which Ivory can benefit from. All right, the water yeah. elemental materializes from the floor after dashing. Ivory's turn. <clears throat> He's going to fire. He's going to fire his. No, he's not. Yeah, he's going to fire his bow at the. Oh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to fire at the water element. Short bow. With regular arrows. He's got advantage. <laughs> For. The oh, omen of no. battle. He wasn't in the range. Oh, he wasn't? Oh, okay. No. No. <laughs> At least, uh, Valen's outside of the range of that AOE. Draws into regular arrows. Cats trying to eat chips. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? He's rubbing his face against the chip bag. Oh, he's got no poison arrows, which are not magic. Poisons. He's gonna shoot back at the elemental. Oh, now he's trying. <laughs> okay. That is a miss. Ah, fuck. He's gonna bonus action dash the fuck out. I don't think the bag's very tasty. And that's his turn. Ben, your turn. Alright, yay. Where's that air water one? Uh, it's here. Bad elemental. Oh, He's there. crying. This is sad. 
Streams of tears form the water. <laughs> He's like a moo moo. He cried of the water elemental to existence. <laughs> I'm telling you, the bag's not that tasty, so, man. 50 to there. 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then... I get a dash. That'd be another nice. 25. Nice. I like it. Or awesome. would it be another... Checking to see if the potion of speed is considered it's considered a magical effect. So you were hasted actually. No, it's an ability. <laughs> no haste. No haste. Oh, that's Is it a null zone? Can I cast a spell within it? Yep, you can. Uh, but just any effects that were ongoing at the time of the pulse are eliminated. Gotcha. But it's not a, it's not a, like a beholder's zone of nowhere. Okay. <clears throat> oh, fuck sakes. Yeah, that's a big wrench, hey? <laughs> this guy sucks. I like I don't like him. Stick in between your spokes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's encroaching on your territory. Um Where the hell is that? How come I can't see Ivor? He ran. He, he ran, ran like real far. And then bonus action dashed the fuck out of there. Oh yeah, he's... <laughs> he's smarter than us. <laughs> he's closer to me than he is to you guys right now. I don't even know where the fuck Tim is. Yeah, we don't know where you are. You're invisible. Oh, he's on the opposite right of room, side of the room of... Oh, uh, I can see Ivor. Yeah, he real... He... Man, he dashed far. Dude, Jesus I don't blame Christ. him. Christ. Yeah, I don't blame him. He'll just yeah, keep no. the, uh... He can keep the elemental distracted while I go for the crystal. <laughs> oh, well, Nine. I guess that's kind of what me and Fen are doing. <laughs> yeah, he's, oh, he's a big boy. Oh. Wait, no, I got no. an idea. I, I have um, an idea. Yes, your turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna slash at him again, because that seems to be mostly effective. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty, yeah. I'm on a boop, and a boop. 17. That is a miss. Damn it. Alright, and again. Uh, so I know that's a miss. And that's a 10. Know what it is. Yep. Oh one moment. I have one more. Yeah. That's that a nine. Is... All right. Well, that sucks. That is and, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, Barry. Um, as a bonus action, real quick, I'm gonna cast Zephyr Strike so I can move away from him. You have to do that before you attack to get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, you're right. Fuck. Never mind. I uh, keep forgetting. Never mind. Guess I'm fucked. All right. No, no, no. You're gonna dodge him. You're gonna get out the way. It's okay. Uh huh. Oh. I believe I can fly. Uh huh. So. <laughs> so I'm fucked now. Because she yelled at Tim. Tell Tim to get a move on. Fuck for real. T will you hurry the fuck up? I'm gonna get. Uh, well, I'm fine, but I could be murdered. You hear? And then you'll have to win. save my ass. 
All right. And end of my turn. I get. Hurry the fuck up. Tim, your turn. Yeah. I have to get in that square there. Right? You have to get right up to it. Up oh. Within five feet of it. There you go. So right there works, huh? Yep. Make a self check. Yep. Where the fuck is Valen? Where are you? Over here. On the on the room I saw. Uh, Hello. Uh, I thought I thought you were invisible too, to be honest. Nope. I haven't seen you in a, bo- in a while. Hello. I just Hello. cast invisibility on the VIP. Oh, lovely. Oh, it's better than hey. the last one, so I suppose it works. And then I am going to cast guidance on myself. And play the harp. Uh, I didn't. S- and uh, you can't do both. Oh, I can't. No. No guidance, but you can. Um, you can use the harp as an action. It doesn't require a check. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't require a check. Uh, so okay. you ring out the harp, and as you get closer and closer, it begins pulsing and emanating against the crystal. And <laughs> as you get pretty close to it, you notice that the crystal begins to the fractures around within like a five ten feet. Start to reseal. And as you do that, as you use the action to cure some of it, uh, the crystals on the outside. Um, lose their uh, force fields. Nice. Light them up and knock them down. Two more to go. And the crystal golem turns directly towards Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. What is this bit about? Yeah, but I'm also playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he notice me? Um. So the crystals on the outside are no longer harmonized together. And some of the main crystal begins to. Um. And that will be your action. Good action. <laughs> All right. I suppose. And turn? Let me just... Yeah, yeah. Gotta move on. Speed it up. Um, I will... (laughs) Where is the... Oh, he's over there. Hmm. What's this distance? Very far. That's close enough. That's all that matters. We're gonna do some... (laughs) Fireball. What is the range? 150 feet? Easy. So, I've got a scroll of fireball. I've got two of them. I'll use one. Fireball. It ain't even gonna it ain't even gonna encapsulate you this time. You ain't even gotta be scared, Ethanus. Aw, why thank you. Ooh, they both fail, but it was a poopy yeah. roll. Eight five damage. Wow. Hey, it's better than nothing. Some of the water singes away. Nice. Smoke. Movement. Um yeah, we're gonna we're we're gonna stay here. Okay. Yep. That's a good spot. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Uh Why? Oh, this isn't gonna go well for me. You did now, so you guys have the magic items working again. Oh, sweet! Like that matters for me right now. Smoke you! And he is going to use his crystalline teleportation. No! No! He's gonna what now? <laughs> what the f? He teleports right beside Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you got an elemental in your face, Tim. Uh, this water elemental is gonna move up to 
Ifinus and attack her. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. They slide attack. They know. What the fuck? Miss. miss. Uh, use it again. Action. Dang it. That's a hit. Damn it! Dang it. Yay! Fucker. <laughs> He's gonna move up here. And over here. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's gonna shoot his bow. With the plus one arrows. I could have just, like... Yeah, yeah I could have just, like, brute forced through the guardian. Or the... The... The heart. Yeah, you don't know. She's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. He's going to switch to his plus one arrows and fire at the golem. Uh, golem is going to activate shield, uh, but he hits and he deals three damage plus two attack. Three damage. <laughs> I was really giving them hell this session. Okay, and then see that. Uh, 17 damage. Nice. Pretty high. Um, okay. And then he's gonna coming action. Fuck off. The rogue specialty. Okay, you are on the other side of the planet. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna move 50. You to have here. base for how many rounds? Uh, so just as it gives me the haste spell. So before I move into combat, there I'm gonna cat. I got five feet of movement left to me. So haste lasts for one minute. Ten rounds. Ten rounds. And then at the end of that, you suffer from exhaustion. 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 Can't do it. Right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to oh. cast... Oh, no. Yeah. Let's target this guy. Okay. What are we casting? Guiding Bolt at level 2. 100 feet. It's 100 feet distance right now? Yeah. 120 feet range. Yeah. Oop. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> 23 to hit. Yes. 20 damage. Yeah, boy. Very uh, nice. Next, next attack has advantage on him. You take half million damage. Oh, really? Yes. From all the way over there? From all the way over there. So I take 10. Back. Oop. Uh, here, and let's hit this guy with my hammer. Now you have advantage. On, yes. Uh, Chris Michael. And you have advantage on Siege Jack. Uh, yeah. Giver. Yeah. Fucking giver. Line it up. Is that 17 to hit? That's a hit. 13 damage. 13 damage. Feature. Divine Strike. Usability. It's another 2 Radiant. And then I'm going to use my last War Priest. Target him with my hammer again. At advantage. 
Does a 15 hit? On the elemental, that is a hit. Nine damage. Another nine. <laughs> it's about half health. Infinis. Your turn. Here. I'm a, yeah. I'm a slashy slashy. As per, as per use. Boo, doo, doo, boo, boo. Oh, I have advantage because we, because we, because he's flanked, yeah. Kyle, <laughs> I'm just confirming that I have advantage right now, yeah. You have advantage, yes. He's great. Twenty-six. Twenty-six is a mess. Okay, go ahead and roll the average. I was gonna... <laughs> he sure did. I was gonna cry. Your mithril? Not right. Uh, uh okay. nine. Oop. And then... Nine, nine, nine. I got one more. Welcome that is a crit. No. Let's go. It's 15. <laughs> Is he not dead? That's so unfair. He is not dead, but he appears near dead. Fucker. All right, that's the end of my turn. Have fun, Tim, with your uh, your, your buddy there. Yeah. I found your buddy there. Hi, big fella. I'm just gonna keep playing this harder harp if you don't mind that. Is that what you can do? Yep, sure is. Okay. It's invisible. You play the harp. It starts encapsulating the edges of the crystalline structure, rendering it the next layer of harmonized crystals dissipate. And the power of the crystalline goal and its ability to teleport starts diminishing. Aha! Uh -huh. I was wondering if it looked weaker after the first one. What it does is it stops it from being able to teleport. Yeah. Inside of the ranges of the crystals. Yeah. Oh, too bad it's already right next to me. <laughs> Bonus action. Yeah. Teleport. Yeah, well, I mean, there's not much I can do. I'm just trying to kind of brute force my way through it. I still have the protection from good and evil, but I'm going to assume it's AoE since that's its base attack. This is action. Most of my stuff is action, so yeah, I'm just gonna take the hit. Unless. Okay, I have That's a question. Valid. Yes. I know that you can hold an action for a trigger. Can I hold a bonus action for a trigger? Specify it. So if I so what I would like to do is I want to piss off this guy. I'm gonna bash him right in his face with everything I got. And then say, come over here! Um, but then when he gets here, I want to do the bonus action to teleport over here. Awesome. I will allow it as long as you use an action to reserve it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. I don't know if I'd get his attention then. Let me... So, let that's me okay? No, that's okay. I will... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, this is what I'm gonna do. I am going to. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll allow it. Okay. I think. Part of the triggers is just specifying triggers as in like casting a spell, opening a door. Opening a door is not an action, right? No. So, as far as I can read on the you know, wording, uh, I think you should be able to ready any reaction, but you use your reaction to perform the ready. Okay. So, that is what I'd like to do. I'm going to hit him with... Uh, Mm, better not use fireball. Might damage the crystal and we all die. So, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. 
He has guided is, bolt is this a magic? Is this a magical construction? Uh, the crystalline golem? Yeah. Uh, what's the terminology? Is it a magical construct? Use one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or, level or lower on the target ends. So, uh, and then if it's uh, fourth level or higher, then I have to make a, a arcana check. Um, but would I be able to dispel magic and just end its existence? No. Okay. No, that's that's a magic effect, right? Yeah. Uh, well, that's it's a good. it's a magical spell. Um, and it's not, it's not a spell. Well, it also says it says magical effect. Yeah, but it's a construct. It's not a magical effect, like haste or something. That's fair. That's fair. Um, um, I would point case, out though, uh huh, the pistol that you're trying to interact with is deactivated. This one is act deactivated. No, no, no. This, uh, this one. You were gonna use this crystal to teleport, weren't you? I, I was. You'll have to use this one instead because this one, this one's deactivated. Oh, and I can get to this one? Sure. Well, okay. So yeah, so I am going to just move up and say here, I am going to blast this dude in his face with as many magic missiles as I can muster. I've got one level four magic missile. Fourth level. Okay. So that's uh, 7d4 plus 7. Uh, 3, 4, 5... Six, yes, yeah, six. Wait, second, third, fourth. Yep, you're right. Six D four plus four. Play with me, you Where about that plan? <laughs> All right. I go twenty damage to him and say, "Hey, your spines are crooked." And then I'm going to prep the uh, teleport to teleport over to this one. Uh, and the trigger is he gets anywhere in this area. One second. Where's the template thing? Maybe. Maybe this? No. It won't let me put a template. Oh, the wrong one. Duh. Anywhere here. He okay. gets anywhere in there. I'm booking over here. Uh, it's it's got to be to that one, I think. But Control Z, Control Z. Um, that is that is it. Alrighty. Uh, he appears to be about half health. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> so he knows that you're there. Oh yeah, you take ten damage from the shield. That's <laughs> force me. damage. <laughs> It's yeah. force damage? Yeah, so you take 10 force damage. Or no, you take 10 radiant damage. Oh, it's always the same. Nice. Equal to half the damage. <laughs> Interesting. It, it basically worked rebukes half of your spell damage. Yeah. Yeah, we're just closing up here, I think. This session. Um, we'll probably finish off this turn round, and then... That'll be our five o'clock. Start up next week. Okie doke. Yep. Oh, man. Okay, <laughs> the golem construct is going to... Just... Ooh. What is he going to do here? Pansy, crooked spine. Your gems are dull. <laughs> <laughs> He is going to try and attack you, Tim. Yeah. With his slam attack. Mm -hmm. With disadvantage. Mm -hmm. You all walking around like you're Geo Dude, but you're just Geo Lane. With disadvantage, he got a 23. Bullshit. That is going to be uh, 20 damage, and I need a Constitution save. I believe. Uh, what is that? Pass or fail? 16. 16? Oh, it is... It's not even safe. Uh, it succeeds. So you do not fall prone, but you take 20 bludgeoning damage. I'll From take it. Team. I'll take it. He's gonna hit you again. Team. No! No. No. You're still invisible. Half of it. 
Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, why did you take half the bludgeon? I don't know. Oh, Is it I, protection? I know why. No, it's, uh... That was disadvantage to hit, too, eh? Yeah, it was. Okay. Um, yeah. It's because of the the thing that I haven't specified in the module for me. Well, why. Well, yeah. So now it should work. Um, so we apply the negative 10. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And then okay. he's going to try and strike you again. Disadvantage. So it should be 37. There. Yeah, he did 20, 20 yeah. damage. Yeah, yeah that's uh, right. next one, disadvantage, is a 28. Oh, my <laughs> lord. For damage, Wait. that is going to be 22 bludgeoning and a con save. Come on. Yes, okay. Nice, oh, nice, nice. Nice. Well, nice. save, and I dealt 22 damage. <laughs> wow. That's all right. That's okay. Where are you at? We have 15. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's alright, it's okay. It's alright, it's okay. It's just a monster, not a bee. We'll live to fight another day. The water elemental is going to attack Ithanus. Actually, he's going to use. How dare he? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> what? Just took uh, it is going to move damage. over top of Ben, <laughs> and it is going to use Realm. Wow. <laughs> so you can make an attack opportunity on it if you want, uh, if it is. Oh, can I You know what? I will. <laughs> Just do, I only get one, do I only get oh, one hit, know. or do I do like a full turn kind of thing? Just one hit, that's how, uh, that's how it works. Alrighty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. No. <laughs> I don't want it. Do I get it, do I get advantage or no? Uh, yeah. No. No? Okay. No, because he would be out of the five foot. Uh, 14. Let's go. Boop. I booped him. I booped okay. the water. <laughs> I Boop. need so how this works is the water. You need to make a strength saving throw, which is good for you. I have a bench so jump dex ones right now, but whatever. I'll call for it. Is this magical? No. Oh my lord! Bloody rights! Yeah, boy. You take no damage and you're pushed outside of its space. (laughs) (laughs) Ivor. Ivor's gonna move over here and shoot a short bow attack. At advantage. advantage. Guiding bolt. Nice, yeah. That's a 20 to hit. That Damn. hits. Doesn't have... No, he still has shield on. That isn't. It... The shield went to Valen? It, 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 it's consecutive? Oh, it doesn't have a shield on it. It's the next round. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a hit. Um... Normal. Has and then sneak attack. Normal. 15. Big. Mm-hmm. And. So, it is the start of the turn order. And wow. unfortunately, it is past 5 o'clock. So, we're going to have to shut down for the night. Ben gets to go first. <laughs> ben gets to go first. The crystalline golem is. Uh, it's not dead, but it's. It's, uh, Getting close. It's moderately wounded. And Tim is not prone. He hasn't dropped anything. He survives his constitution <laughs> checks from the pulses. And he is trying to pluck away on the last stage of the crystal structure. Play I for believe. Your life. 
Do you have to make a concentration check for your invisibility veil? Uh, oh yeah, when I took the 10 force damage, I didn't need to. You're right. It's, uh, is that a concentration for your invisibility? I thought it was a timed. No, it's concentration. Uh, it is? I don't, I yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah, it is. But even if he fails, it's not too devastating, because the I construct passed. error. Nice. Great right on. Okay. Yeah. Um. Great session. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it there. I'm pretty sure it's Ben, Ithinus, and Tim. And Tim, you're you're on the last. You're on the last repair. Okay, this is the last repair. I was waiting for. Oh, you get the, the inner ones. Now there's one more. <laughs> well, <it> might be. <laughs> we'll see what happens. It might change my. No. <laughs> <Before> roll. <laughs> you already said it's the last one. You can't change it. <laughs> Not loud. Well, one more. And we got some of our audio back for the session. So one one more, more, I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's probably going to not be too much fun having to input the phone to the gap. Or I've got a tag going again, but I'm not sure if I lost the initial recording or if I yeah. Anyway, it's a great session, guys. That was really yes, fun. That was great. <laughs> that was fantastic. We were to draw to get into it. I can't wait to get the fuck out of here so we can level up and be cool. Oh, we are.